We're back. We're all four in city. Four. <laughs> Chapter four. This oh one's gonna gosh. be super fun. I'm really pumped. For this. I've been thinking about this the whole day, man. I was too. Ah, I'm kind of worried about us. I'm not worried. This. I'm not worried. Not worried. I love Why it. Are you I lo we got five guys. We're gonna knock them from left to right. We're making run right. huge, awesome buildings. I can't wait for them to see your buildings the first time. This is gonna be pretty cool. I, yeah, they haven't <gasps> seen the board or anything yes. because it's looking at us. Uh, it's, that's boring. You yeah. Show the kids. Okay, let's board. show them what's on, going on. Board. Okay, so here's the board. Oh wait, that's your oh, guy. That's my guy. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, full screen on the board here. Let's What's see if I can get this going here. Boom. There we go. That's pretty good, like except that. I got some shiny on the lighting here. I'm going to fix that real quick. Okay, now. go fix that. Right come, come into my screen. Keep, that, keep them entertained. Hello, and how are all of you? What's shiny? Oh, you're moving the you're moving the screen. There we go. That looks that looks good. Of course it It's does. still a little bright over on this side, but I think that's fine. What are you going to do? There you go. I always have to play around with my my uh, lights all the time. I think we're good like that. Okay. Life is glorious. What do you guys think? Everybody thinks it's great? Good. All right. Now I got to go back to the chat again because I'm sure my chat's all messed up because I don't know why it's doing that to me. But 100 people have already said something and let's see here. I got to Oh, here we go. Finally caught a live stream live. Mortal hey, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Awesome. It's Thanks for coming. You. Thank you for joining. This is going to be amazing. You, you picked the one to come to, man. Yeah. This is going to be amazing. I'm, I'm super, super pumped excited. for this. Super pumped. I'm super so we are fighting some uh, of these scar, scar, scar. the scars. scar tribe, the scar tribe. So I'm going to do a little, little camera work here. It's going to be a pretty bad idea, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to raise this to show you what we're dealing with. Ooh. Except oh. I don't know why it did that. Well, yeah, that's, that's okay. Well, I'm going to go back down again. Yeah, so so much work. for that. That was fun. Good try. Okay. Yeah. Good try. Now I'm kind of worried that oh that was amazing. Why yeah. did it even do that? I don't know what you did. Oh well, you know, life is glorious, and then something <laughs> happens. That's how it, goes. it decided to turn. How's that? Uh, that no, was up there. No. <laughs> that's half the battle. I can bring it back down. There we go. Okay. No, so, let's let's never see. try let's that see. again. Okay. Okay, that's working. That's working. Yeah, that's right. We're well, good. Well, well, they'll see this. So here fine. we go. Here we're going to look at the Northern West. You're going to see this character right here. Bad guy. See this person over here? Bad guy. All right. We're going to move down over here. I don't even know where the bad guys are. <laughs> bad guys are the ones that have these things on them. They're going to look like that. That's the deal. There's a dude hiding. This, this mage is hiding behind a tree. That yeah. little jerk. He's super, super tricky. This guy's bad guy. Steve! Steve good, is here. Good, good evening, evening, Steve. Good to have you Thanks here. Thanks for joining. Wombat finally caught a live stream. Sorry, I forgot to put that up there. That's fantastic. And Steve is here. Greetings. Good to see you, Steve. We are just starting. We are going to try to... Okay, so I'm going to put Colin in char. Okay, what well, first thing we have to do is we have we were able to look at the scenario sheet before we, have, we did this. We now, have to pick... Correct. Liquider Gaming is here. Good to see you. Thank uh, you for joining. Hello, Liquider Gaming. Always good to have Hope you. Hope it's not Always so good. To have he you. sent me a picture of the temperature that it is in California. Oh, yeah. I think it, it was 117. 117. He sent me that, too. Yeah. I was like, oh, my gosh. We were like 68. Yeah, I sent him a picture yeah. of ours. Yeah. yeah. It was like it was like the most 80 or this something. This weekend, it's going to be 65 is the high something, or something yeah. like that. That's amazing. It's great. I love it. Wonderful. Love Minnesota. Matt, awesome here. <laughs> also to have you here. Hey, Matt. We got Bill here as well. Bill is here. Bill, well, good to see you for the record. They are paying the bucks to paint. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, just imagine. Yeah, oh my gosh. They, they are here. Bill. So we got these kind of guys here. This is one of the guys we're facing here. He's one of the berserkers. Oh, boy. Where are you? Oh, yeah. That's right through the spot. And then here's one of the... Okay, I'll remember where it is. I I'm going to show it as right I remember it. where it is. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. He looks awesome. Look at that axe. I know. Broccoli Docklands, good to see you. Broccoli Docklands. Joining, joining okay. as well. Here's another Berserker, I'm assuming, right? Uh, yes, there's another Berserker. Yeah. And then, okay, one, two, three. Then here's the mage. Oh, this guy's in front of the, the tree. The mage is right in front of the tree. Hiding behind he's the dead. tree. Yeah, he's something else. And then we there's one more. Spear girl up oh, there. Oh, the spear girl. She's probably going to chuck this at us. Bone maiden is what uh, she's called. The bone maiden. Oh, yep. Gosh, she's going to deal awesome. with that. And that's going to be something. And she's right next to a poor civilian going to take his head I'm off. I'm sure that's going to happen. So Steve is pulling up carpet right now and laying down laminate, flooring while listening to this, thoughts <laughs> and prayers, as well as hoping that you have someone, what? That who matches my blood, blood type, type in case thing. things go bad. <laughs> Steve, I hope things don't go bad. Oh, yes. nice that, yes. that, that is Manson That is uh, Bill. 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 Bill painted all the all the bad all the things you see here. I painted up the, the these these guys. Yep, and then the train. Oh, that That's literally perfect, was it? awesome. Look at that. You can't even see her. Uh, her uh, hair and her chose the right person for yeah. sure. Uh can you quickly remind us how Oh yes, we okay. Got this so panel? what yes. happened Good in this plan. in the Good plan. Matt will tell give you a recap. Oh, uh, Matt will? No, I mean, Colin will tell us. Oh, okay. Him. I was like, you want Matt to type <laughs> Matt, it in there? Us. Matt, tell us what it's like. Oh, okay, we'll right. just sit here. Complete he was, silence. He had, he gave us uh, 12 rhymes last 12, week. 12? 
Oh yeah, yes. yeah. For every civilian that yeah. died, yeah, Matt rhyme. gave us a wonderful rhyme. Uh, rhyme with See, it, that which rhyme was too. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, that was on purpose. Not really. No. Uh, so what happened? We were in best. Wait, are we okay? We're okay with spoilers, right? Because we're we're, in, that... we're number four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in chapter three, after chapter three, we went. Uh, well, what happened in chapter three in the story portion is Bastone was overrun by this huge giant monster well, and so oh, monster was a monster, it's a monster. Giant, giant monster so we had to run out of there and actually the penitent saved the day by uh giving the beast something to look at that wasn't our party i wouldn't say and look as more as eight eight well no, no gave him something to look at and then the beast was like i'm hungry and that shiny armor looks tasty and ate the penitent so the penitent's gone we know we no longer have the penitent we've now moved to the to the war bear so i'm playing the war bear now and the priest uh, everyone else escaped, and we found ten civilians. And unfortunately, there was one civilian that did not realize that when they were making so much noise, the things under the ground were going to eat them. Right. So then we had to fight a worm. After we fought the worm, then we were in the dark and uh, in the deep wood. Yep. And we're trying to find a city. What's the city's name V something. Ugh. We're trying to find this city, but we're in the dark woods. We can't see a thing. And so we're, we're walking through this, getting lost. Unfortunately, Toby was there because we legitimately got lost. Yeah, we actually did hit the wrong. We, we pulled the, we were, uh, we that's on the me. wrong card. That's on me. Stuff out but there, we but. figured it out. Uh, and fortunately, we were not ambushed by the Scar. We are attacking them. So we get to go first, which I think is key. Yes. Maybe we can take one out right away. Come Pretty on. Good. They, no. They're going to be brutal. But so that's how we got into this. We found this village. And I'm not going to let you talk at all. Oof. We found this village. <laughs> <laughs> we found this village and we lost every civilian that was with us, but now there's 10 more that we can save. And so we're going to save every single one of them. I don't care what Barrett says. Okay? And for the record, it was brought to my attention that we did actually have more rations than we were supposed to when we went to Trump's into the deep woods. We might have saved a couple, who knows. That is we all that than, we did. We should have had 18 instead of yeah, 14. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe uh, those We also would have had less people too because we brought all the time tokens and the locations yeah. should have been just the time tokens yeah. whatever we still are blast they all Fall died matters. unfortunately yeah. uh and now we've got new civilians to save right. so i've got lots of st i've got a lot to do you've yep. got to kill things i'm just got to save people all right and bill uh was remembered all he remembers was matt's rats it's the blur of matt's rats yeah. i mean totally yeah. he did too yeah matt yes the worm was, the amazing. was amazing how yes, that worked was. that was really cool so cool I guess I actually played it after we played it. I played it with my wife and kid, and we had a blast doing that as well. It was just so much fun to just move that thing. So anyway, we're gonna move down to the game board. And well, hold on, let's let's show them the um, these things so they remember these what things. things. Let's show them yeah. the these things. You know about the because I don't remember. We're the Scar Tribe. So we're not the. Scar we're not tribe. the Scar Tribe. We're fighting the Scar Tribe. Okay. So we have prey on the weak. When each Scar tribesman picks a target, unless a tribesman is actually adjacent to an Osworn, they're going to target the nearest civilian. They don't care about us initially. They care about the civilians. That's why we have to save all of them. Um, so that's going to be my job. The tribe is one. All Scar, Scar tribes have the mob rule. And if we remember what the mob rule means, that means that if there's a tie for where the, the tribesman will attack, it will go towards the one that has other Scar tribe members uh, already attacking it. Correct? Uh, yes. Yep. And then each time a Scar Tribesman dies, all other Tribesmen permanently gain, uh, and it's hard to see, is that? That's a yellow. Permanently gain a yellow. Add a yellow cube mag track to keep track of it. We still have the 10, we have 10 civilians. You may try and protect them if you wish. Obviously, we're going to. Uh, civilians will, will, just, will die if they receive any amount of damage. However, they can be protected by moving them off the board. Instead of playing an ability card on your turn, you may move an adjacent civilian up to four hexes by spending an Enemus. Uh, this is free if you're a companion or ally. No, yeah. whatever. Each civilian may only be moved once per round. Okay? Yeah, that's the same as And the then thing. they start off. Gosh, they can't see that very well. What? That's fine. Uh, they start off, look at that, uh, with a yellow and a red. But as they said, we're going to continue to get more and more yellows. They're going to go to stage two. Keep going. Oh, okay. Keep talking. Don't worry about what I'm they're going to go to stage <laughs> They're going to go to stage two uh, when two Scar, Scar tribe members die, and then go to stage three when four of them die. Okay, I think we should be back. Should be back. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's working. Is life back to normal here? I think life is back to normal. Oh, we'll I have find it on my phone and I can hear. It. You? Oh, Say, good. We are back. We are back right. to normal. I think. We're back. I think. I think. Why are you over there? I don't know what you do to me. I don't know. Go back over here. I might have to set up a couple things here real quick, and then we'll be ready to go. No. Nope. Oh, you're over there. Why are you over there? Why are you over there, Colin? So, so just don't show my priest, because if you do, I only see half my face. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> oh, that's okay. We'll fix it. Okay, as you're fixing it. So, what this means essentially is that, um, well, actually, I won't explain that part. The What I want you to know is all the five tribesmen only have one die, so they have six worth of health. Except for the pack leader. Oh, I he can show that. Yeah. Hey guys, not sure if you were ever normal, but you're definitely back. <laughs> okay, this is great because now I got to uh, fix that again. That's uh, amazing. Don't worry, that can be okay. fixed. We're gonna just do this real quick. We're gonna transform. Poor Baron, I feel so bad. He has to do all of this. There we go. There we go. That's looking. So good. there you go. So this is the. These are the guys we're fighting. This is the Bone Tribe. And you can see here, they all only have one die worth of health, except for the pack leader. Uh, he has two. So this should be no problem. No All you problem. Do is hit him and kill him. They don't have okay. very much defense, do they? Um, yeah, their defense, by the way, is, uh, what was that? Five. Yes, yes, five defense for all of them. Huh? Not going to be good. No. So I've got our deck of cards here. I'm going to put okay. it over here. We have to first pick our cards. Correct. Right? So, so I do want to make, I'm going to give a little shout out. I got a lot of shout outs here. Most of them are probably telling us we are idiots and going to have the internet here. <laughs> you, <laughs> you move a civilian by spending animus. I mean, I get why it works, but yuck. Yeah. Did the oh, stream freeze? Yes, it did. It died. No, no, everything's frozen. No, my life is my life was frozen. Okay, um, my sure life was you frozen. Move the civilian in a way that makes them look most appetizing to the monsters. That's my plan. Ask Colin what his plan. No, is. my plan is to save every single one. It of seems them. no. Okay. Not a single one is going to die. Yes, they did break the internet. Steve, better yet, douse them in hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Colin. So, thank you for Colin being able to jump up and help tell you guys what's going on. Sorry about that. We are we we have a small technical difficulty. We got it fixed out. Uh, Matt, wait till you see the next encounter. Ooh, I can't wait. Better. I can't wait. Hey guys, not sure if you're ever normal, but definitely back. True. Okay, here we go. Baron, spend four animus to move Colin off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> that was epically awesome. Oh my gosh, that oh, made my that day. Was so good. That okay. made my day. So we do have to pick our cards before we go into battle. Now, the one thing we do know going into battle. Now, this is a little bit different since we're doing it kind of through uh, this live format. Um, when you are doing the story moment and you can look at the encounter board, we we did get that checked off. We could look at the encounter board. Uh, we still technically shouldn't know the enemies we're fighting at that point or how it's set up. But before you pick your cards and your in your items and stuff, but we're just gonna have some fun. Whatever. So I just I, wanted to make like, sure that you understand how that works. So my archer has these things going for her. She's got wormhide, amberstone, and a gnarled tom. Gnarled tom, as opposed to gnarled like Alan or Joe or something. Well, we want um, that would be awkward. Yeah. And then we gotta pick some things. Uh, I need to. So have you decided I, what you're I've doing? I've already decided my seven for you are the war bear, but now I need to go and f decide my seven for the priest. I'm gonna get rid of double stab. I don't think that's gonna help me too much. I highly doubt there's like two of them are gonna stand next to her. One, two, three. Okay, so I see the war bear. Where did you put the priest? Um... One. Your priest card should be over there. Oh, too. Should they, I'm, I'm thinking that they're common items because on the back side it's common items. Oh, okay. You're funny. So this is a level three, level two, level three. The other three. one I get is level so three. So just to remind everyone, yes. when you do your deck, you have to, not deck, your hand of yeah. cards, you need to have one level zero, two level ones, two level twos, and two level threes. So that's what we're picking up. So the level zero is essentially always going to be the same thing. Uh, uh, my two level ones, I can't even make a choice because I only have two level ones. I have three uh, level twos, so I'm picking uh, two of those out of three. Uh, do we need lane of hands? see yeah these two because that's essentially the same so that one will be set aside we're gonna use that for three defense all right and... so we're gonna use that i uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna you take my multi-shot and i am going to get rid of well i like child of the forest so they can't be targeted um yep we're gonna get rid of death's army shot uh well actually my other guy only has two defense too so that's gonna be not nice to be able to do that i want to fend i think i'm gonna fend Actually, right. I think knockback is going to be really nice in this one because they're normal yeah. characters. They are normal characters. They'll take damage if they get knocked back exactly. into something. They're not going to be breaking things. That's the thing. Yes, made it. Working from home for the win. Love Working it. from wise home. Poet. Wise, wise poet. poet. Good to see you. You are so you. wise. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to have you here. Thank you for joining. We are. We, you're, you picked a good one to join. All right. I'm going to keep my... Oh, I he keeps saying that. He's really worried about this encounter. I don't know why I'm not. I'm sure I'm going to be after we get our first hit. But right now, they're not going to be that strong, one yellow and one red. That's not terrible. No, it's really so not too bad. we can manage that if we want for a little bit and, you know, knock a few of them down, maybe not kill them. Maybe kill the, the mage right away. And then the other ones, you know, leave them out. We'll deal with them. Save all of, all the civilians, every single one of them. And then we can go for them. What do you guys think? I think it sounds like a good idea, right? 
every civilian. Don't let him let him target any, okay? Actually, I don't know. I don't even think that's going to be possible because we're probably not going to be adjacent to five. No, oh. you want to know where we start? Where do we start? We start on that board edge way over there at the end. There we you start way over here? Yep. That's just mean. It is. That means we have no chance of saving. No, we'd be lucky to save half these guys. Look at this poor fool over here. He's so far away from us. <laughs> He's like, fool. hey, everybody, I got a great idea. Let's all run from the old sworn over here. Oh. This is a good place to be. I'll hide behind this tree. They'll never see me. Oh, uh, oh by the way, aren't these awesome, you guys? These are my trees. Those are my houses. I See, oh, oh, it even has a window. It does okay. have windows. It's right. true. I, I'm trying to put it back in the uh, exact spot luck. you had it. It's the bonus wall cubes uh, that complete the encounter. It's the bonus white cube. Oh, I right. complete them. I don't know. Well, okay. You start doing? on one side of the board, and half of the civilian is dead. Yes, that's yeah, about that it. That's exactly right, Steve. Right. That's 100% right. What is, okay, well, I, don't I don't know what Matt's talking about. Sorry, understand. Matt. We missed that one. Okay. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. You haven't decided yet? I'm I so, decided like an I'm hour so ago. Decided. I'm ready to play. Okay, you're ready to play. Oh, did I show you what I'm doing with the blade? Check out the blade. Okay, the blade's going two-handed. I'm going two-handed oh, with the blade. Oh, He's you, gonna you use, switched his hands, I'm going to use you? two hunting knives. I'm going to use oh. two hunting knives this time. So you get two yellow goes. mite. So I get two yellow mite. We're going to see it. Because the other one gave me two yellow mite, but I could discard it to or use it to get a uh, defense. Where this one, if I get a critical, I get the battle flow card. Battle flowing is awesome. <laughs> Love the flow. You might as well ask him to hold the vibrating stone, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is for sure. Okay, I'll just go like this. Here we go. Are you done yet? So yep. I can show them the yep, first go ahead. card. You go right. show them Did the you first shuffle them already up? Um, Did you already shuffle them up? That was. Did you, you shuffle them already up? That was half English up? and half half bear. I'm All assuming right, yep, you. That's yeah. good. That was a good. <laughs> half English, half bear. I love right, it. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for this guy. Throwing oh, weapon. I'm not design. throwing my weapon. Um, uh, and Master Perry. I don't know. I like I got a friend. Baird has a plan. It's always a problem. I got a friend named Perry. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna master though. Oh, he's Matt is talking about every tribe member gets a bonus cube. When, yeah, except for it's not a white, it's a yellow. That's, I think, why we were confused, because you're talking about a white cube. It's actually a there yellow. You, my guy's ready to go. Did I yellow pick the right time. cards to keep? No, but right that's okay. Right now, they're a yellow and a red. I'm going to put these way over here so I don't accidentally pick them up and use them. Did you already pick them? I'm done. You're done. I'm done. You're done. All right, yep. here is the first one. That's a lot of words. Chain Just hug. remember, I am the blade. I am. That's what <laughs> I mean. Every tribe member gets a bonus. Yes, there we go. Baron has a plan. Yes, I, that's what I thought. Yep, here we go. Bonus yellow, not white. Correct. Yep, Toby, yep. setup looks great. Hope you with, uh, hope it helps with feeling the immersion. Always, it really every does. Time, it's Toby. so good. Every freaking time. Super, super fun. And this yeah, one's yeah. awesome that they're not going to get... So a lot of the bigger bosses, you know, destroys the obstacles. Mm -hmm. What's cool is we can use these obstacles and push them around in them. So we picked a few more. I mean, I picked a few more. Oh, I should check knockback. see if any of my cards have knockback that yeah, I gave that's, I've got knockback on mine. Uh, we just have to remember that... Uh, you know, they have to go back in a straight line, you know, so we don't get to choose. All right, so this is, this, card. this is the first card that we have. We have Chain Hook. The ominous clink of chains foreshadows pain. Ooh. The Berserkers target the closest Osworn and move eight to them. So each... So man must override the card. When each the tribe member picks override. a target, unless the tribesman is adjacent to an Osworn, they will target the nearest civilian. So which one overrides the other? I would say the card always overrides what the rules are. Yeah, maybe... That's usually how things go in the games. Like. You think so? Because I'm thinking that that actually means they're going to go for the civilian first. And then when the civilians are gone, they're going to go for the Osworn. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're going to go for the civilian. Do you guys know? I'm pretty sure that because the card says they prey on the weak, even though the, uh, the card here says it's going to target the closest Osworn, it's actually going to target the closest... Uh, civilian, unless an Osworn is adjacent to it, right? For each Berserker adjacent to their target, move the Berserker 4 directly. Oh, okay, so maybe this is it. The Berserker targets the closest Osworn and moves 8 to them. For each Berserker adjacent to their target, move the Berserker 4 directly away from the target and place the target in the closest, em closest empty hex to that Berserker. The target then gains uh, Immobilize. All Scar Tribe move 4 to their target. All Scar Tribe uh, attack Target and so this, so okay, so this do target. To, uh, do you want to see the main thing there? There you go. Encounter cards always take precedence, and each step is executed in order. Yep. So it sounds like they're going to go for the Osworn. They're going to do the Osworn here, but they're actually going to when they see this target. That's when, if they're not adjacent to an Osworn, they're then actually going to target. Okay, that yep, makes, that makes sense. sense. Okay, Look at that. And I'm almost so my cards picked. Berserkers are going to target the closest Osworn and move eight to them. For each Berserker adjacent to their target, move the Berserker four directly away from the target and place the target in the closest empty hex to that to the Berserker. 
and then they gain immobilize. And what does that symbol mean? Can you tell me what immobilize means? I sure can. Let me find my book. Okay. That is a new one. We have not seen that one yet. That token looks like... Oh, that means you're uh, not going to move. Is it you can't move at all? I'm sure. Well, it might be that you can't. You can. You have to use double move. You have yeah. to, so you, we should probably look. Yeah, let's check. Okay. Um, I actually have it set up for my, my camera thing, but I think that's going to be mass chaos right now. I don't want to test that. All right, immobilize. It says here, I uh, got crippled. Oh, that's what crippled. it's called? Crippled. A yeah. character with crippled token cannot move until the end of the next Oathsworn phase. This includes movement from any ability cards. You may still play the card, but abilities that require movement, such as chain attacks, cannot be performed. After the Oath, next Oathsworn phase, the crippled token is removed. If crippled token is gained during the Oathsworn phase, the token is not removed until the end of the next full Oathsworn phase. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. That's a bunch ouch. of barf right there. Ouch, ouch, Okay. So basically, two of us are going to be... Uh, we're going to be basically yanked by the chain and then immobilized for the end of our turn. Not if you're the archer. It moves eight towards the closest archer. I'm moves, shooting uh, ten spaces. Oh, you're shooting ten spaces. Okay. I'm going to try. You're going to get ten spaces away from all of them? Sure. Oh, we should probably put our characters oh, on Oh, yeah, board. here. Put me next to that, this place. Over. Put me next to that house. So, so wait, we can start anywhere in this edge? The very edge of the board. So I'm right there. So right there? I'm going to sneak out and shoot that shaman in the face. Okay. Oh, do you want me to do... Do? Ooh. Do the do? But I could save some civilians. Thematically, the berserkers are crippling a target and then swarming together on that target. Pack, Pack hunters. That's awesome. amazing. So freaking cool. I love all that. I, I thank you for being here, Toby. It really yeah. makes the game come alive. Yeah. Really cool. So, uh, I got my two-handed blade. He's pretty cool. He's going to go out there and fight. Rawr. Do you want... Are we going to try and take that mage down? So do we all try? I mean, we can only fit two over Why here. don't you, like, tank the bad guys? Why, why would I do that? If we stay down here... You only put two those... down there. I know. So, maybe one over here. So, I was thinking... Place him where he doesn't die. Okay. Right here. That's a great spot. You can go save some civilians with the priest. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Okay. So, because... We were not ambushed. We start our turn order. Correct. Uh, uh, we start first. Each character gains our enemies. So for both of mine, that's six, two, four, five, six, two, four, oh, four, six. and we should say two, four, six, that we all have three shields and one reroll token. Right. Yes. Oh, if we look at our characters. And I start with an empower token for my bear. Yes. Because that's what my my bear does. I do not. Yeah. No. I mean, why would you? No. You're not a bear. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing, maybe maybe I should put the bear over here because I can let other people move. I was thinking of doing my Weird. feral roll. Yeah. Or does she need to move much to be able to get uh, in range? If she's standing in the square, you're squaring it's moving. Let me try it again. Um, if you're standing in, <laughs> if I'm standing where you were, it's very just like that. Perfect. Okay. Then I can shoot from there. How many squares away am I from that One, thing? two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I was hoping for eight. Well, you can't. You can only get seven. I, I guess that's get, better than nothing. Oh, my huh? head is in the way. You can only get Don't seven. Don't worry about it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Um, okay. I can still shoot with my shot. So I'm thinking I might switch this and have the priest come with her, and I will help the blade move. Okay. So that hopefully, the the, the question for you is, we can maybe stay eight away from this guy I'm over sure. here. Maybe one. Two, three. No, we're never going to be able to stay away. Eight. That guy. No. Okay. So let's not even worry about that. What do we want to do? Maybe go for the pack leader with these two, and these two try and take on the. You do the know there's mage. two berserkers, right? Yes. Okay. But they're both. We're not going to within range eight. There's no way we're going to avoid them. One, two, and then one, two, three, and then smash. You know what I mean? I can probably get to this one and attack it. Well, I can give you a move too, which That's could help why, you. Yeah, they'll get me yeah. there. All right, so let's start there. Okay. We're going to start with uh, those two up there. So I'm going to start with my card that I have here called the Feral Feral, Feral Roar. Nice. This is going to cost three enemies for my bear. One, two, yep. three. This will go in the one slot for mm -hmm. battle flowing. Up to two friendly characters, and that can include myself. Uh, within range three, may move up to two or gain uh, one of the empower tokens. And I think we're both looking to move, right? Uh, I'm going to take the empower token. Okay. I'm totally kidding. Oh my gosh. And then I can actually move to, which is kind of nice. So, did, did this stop working? Nope, no, it's working oh. just fine. 
Okay. Where'd your card go? Oh, you don't, thank you. Um, I didn't know you were going to put it right here. Awesome. So I'll put it right there. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do that. Cost me half my enemies. Where would you like wow, to move? Wow, really? Well, yeah. I only have six enemies. That, that costs does three? three? Yeah. To move two? Dude, I get to move four, and I can have oh. two people move two. So. Okay. So yeah, I'll move two. One, two, and then you could save sure. that. You could save that uh, right civilian. Now. That sounds like and a plan. Where the heck am I? I'm right here. One, two, three, four. Now I am right here. I'm right in my way. I can total. Am I in your way? Well, I can't walk through you. Yeah, I was right here. Well, that's okay. I'll. Then you go first. You could go one, two, three, four, and end up right here. And then you can save civilians one, if you want. One, two. Is there a spot over here? Yeah. No, there isn't. Yeah, look at the kind of look at the thing. I can't see on the thing. Yeah, there's plenty of room there. Is that spot open? Yes. Okay, three, and then four. So you want me to go here, and then I can save a couple civilians. That's only three spaces, but you can go more. If oh, you want. I can go to four. Yeah. One, two. It's just hard for me to see behind the, over I know. the table. I know. Over the one, two. And then the best is when I put my arm through the green screen. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, That's so super professional. If I go there, I can at least save one civilian. So I'm going to spend one animus to save this one. Sure. You're going to make the sound. Ah! All right, off the board. Yep. That's one saved. One, two, three. Can't. Oh yeah, I can save that one. I'm going to use another animus to save this one. Ah. What? <laughs> Come on! You're saving our meat. Uh, it's okay. We got we've got other meat other way other Shield. places, and then I can use my last one to get up to this guy, so he targets me and not a civilian. Sounds okay. great. He's not fighting anybody. War Bear is not going to fight anyone. He's not, and that guy's not doing anything either. Okay, that's fine. So I am going to use the blade. The blade. And, oh, you know, I did have a question come up to me actually while I was while doing our playthrough. Um, that we were going like, why is that dude doing so many actions? You only do one action and then somebody else goes. But you can choose to pass your actions, but it doesn't mean you're passing for the turn. So the way we're playing it is we're just like, okay, well, the bear is going to do his stuff. Sure, I'm just going to let him go ahead and do it. You just come back around to your turn when it comes to your turn, if that makes any sense to anybody. Yeah, it really isn't turns. Yeah. I, I, you know, I mean, it is turns, and you can play more turn-ish if that's better for your for mm -hmm. your. Uh, group, yeah, but it's a lot easier to just have talk together for us, and then I maybe might do a few things and and like getting the bear out of the way and saving two civilians. So then now the blade has a nice open area to come. Look at you can do your run three. Yeah, you can't shoot. You do your little charge three and hit him. I sure can. Let me see if I can yes. get something else. One. How much animus do I have? I got all my animus. Yeah, because right? I moved you. Let's do that. I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna mm. do with the priest. Yeah, I can do my run up and attack that guy if you want me to. And I can save this guy first if you want me to. You know I love that you save Okay, let's people. save that guy. All right. Saving one. Ah! <laughs> that one's off the board. We have now we saved go. three civilians. Yeah, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, And then I'm going to do this card. Charging boar. I'm allowed to move three in a straight line. If you are adjacent to an enemy that you are facing, you must stop moving. One knockback. Which is good because I'm knocking back. Sadly, I was hoping to get to some place where I could knock somebody into something. Yeah. But I can't. I was. That's why I was measuring. I was counting out this over here, seeing if I could get to him. See, I, the last time I messed with that camera, though, the whole thing died, so I'm not going to do that. That's why it's, it's going in and out because I forgot to have that one not autofocus. Um, so it, I was trying to autofocus on my fingers. Oh, sorry. Okay. No, let's say it's my fault. I should have done it before the stream, and now every time I touch, that's why it broke last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to try to get so I could push that guy around into the like wall or something. Yeah, or or the spear gal. Yeah. You know. But I'm not gonna really get there. No. So instead I could charge the big guy. I think you should. Charge. The him. only problem is when you knock him back, he's no longer gonna be adjacent to the war bear, and that means he's gonna target and kill a civilian. Which is fine. We're gonna lose well, a couple. The good news is he's not even gonna do anything. Yes, he is. Now, all Scar Tribe attack target. Oh yeah. gotcha. So you see they're all still gonna activate. Okay. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. Uh, you we're sure? gonna, I, I mean, it hurts a little bit, but you're... Wait! If you knock it back, can you knock him back right here? Can they see that? Because if you knock him back here, then it's still adjacent to the war bear. One, two, three... No, no, you're going to push him this way. Yeah. You have to push him away. That's fine. That's fine. Or I could do charge through four. No, because that seems like a waste, because you'd like to do that when, they're more, when there's Dudes more than around. one. You're just going to hit one and run Ooh, into the, into wait the tree. Maybe I can get this guy. You know... One, two, one, two, one, two, okay, one, one, two. One, okay, one, yep, two. I got it, okay. We're going to use roll first. Roll, move two, and then if I'm in Viper Stance, which I'm not. Well, you actually, I am. I am in Viper Stance, I haven't played a card yet. Yeah. Um, you move through an occupied hex that 
But you have to end in a in a okay. empty hex. So I'm gonna bring that guy back on the board. I got a plan. Which guy? The one you just threw off the board. This I didn't chase it. I didn't help that guy. You didn't help that one? Nope, I got a plan. So we're gonna pay one to put that card into play. Okay, so it costs one animus yep. to put that one into play, and, and it goes your one. But I'm gonna use one animus first to move. Okay, so you're moving up one. Yep. Okay, and I'm gonna move you. one, two over that guy. Because I can move through an occupied square. Got it. One, two. Because that because I am in Viper stance, because we look at my character, which is super cool. He has these stances, and I get to choose the stance I want if there's if when there's a tie for the amount of cards on the board, and right now there's no cards on the board, so everything's a tie. But now I have to put this into number one. So now I'm actually in boar stance. Guess who wants to be in boar stance? You. Me! Yes. Bing, 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 bing. Because this is going to be awesome. Now, from where I am, I can charge him and use mo move three, and I was, oh, maybe I shouldn't go there. I got a better plan. Look at this. We're going to go one here and one, two here, and then charge one, two, three. And I can push him that way. I don't know if that helps anymore. Wait, let me put this card so everybody can't see what I'm doing. Okay. I, I got lost since you were here. You can charge in a straight line. One, two, three. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going up this way. One, two, three. Yeah. Let me do the that. The scariest four words. Baron says, I've got a plan. I mean, yeah. yes, I've got a plan. I know. And I hear it all the time. One, to move. So I can save the guy. Oh, you can you can save the guy. I can save the guy. Okay. I'm gonna use my one animus to use my viper stance to move myself. I was trying to point at the screen. That was pretty yeah. good. <laughs> Amazing to move myself one two this way and then charge with my other remaining movement that way three spaces. Okay, scariest thing Brandon says is that I've got a plan. Yep. Well, especially when his plan took 45 <laughs> minutes to develop. That's okay. Here. That's okay. This, I'm gonna always, roll some dice. It's always the hardest right at the beginning. Yep. So you've got so many options. I am going to. So we played this charging boar here. The charging boar then uh, battle flows that one over to there, which now I can choose any stance I want. I'm going to choose my boar stance. Is it the boar stance I want? Yes, I think it's that one. Because then I'm able to... You can't not... choose anyone you want because you have one and one, so you have to choose. Got, but this, yeah, so I'm going to choose okay. this one, and this one allows me to choose anyone I want. Got it. I didn't and know that. That's, Sorry. That's, yeah. that's, that's amazing right there. A lot of people can read that. That's perfect. Why is that camera still doing I, that? It's being mean to me. I don't know. Yeah. There you go. Camera's fixed. Okay, so I can move three in a straight line. Did that if you move adjacent to the enemy that's facing, stop moving. Yep, I'm going to knock you back one. You didn't even have to mark the starting hex. <laughs> I didn't have to mark the starting hex. We no, that's in Star right of That's true, it is. <laughs> it is. We've got to go all the place now. Knock back one. This attack only takes place if this card caused to move yeah, at least one hex. I did, and if I'm in this stance, which I am. Add two damage. So you already got two, two and what are you rolling? Two. So you're rolling one I yellow, two, two yellows. yellow. I can roll two yellows. Okay, you got the other one? Yep, I got okay, right here. Is this your yellow one? I, got I don't there. care. I got oh. here. You take your dice. I got oh. my dice. Oh. I don't want the dice. Dice are scary. My dice are amazing. Always scary. Okay. Now we don't have, I have a reroll token, but I don't have any, uh, what do you call them? Empower uh, tokens. Empower tokens or anything like that. We're just going to roll our dice right down here and see how it goes. I'm going to take two yellows and two whites. Okay, and you're hitting the Berserker. How do we know which Berserker is which? Oh, one of them has chains and the other one has chains. They both have chains. One okay. has got his thing above his head. Um, the one that's above his head right here. Yep, yeah. that's that one. Yep, and this and one's got his that one's sword in the one. air. Like yep. this. Okay, like, all right, we know which one is which. Should I roll like an extra white die? I kind of feel like it. Come on. You we need a five. five. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Well, we want you to do two damage here, not just one. We want, we're going to get to a ten. You already got a two in here. True. So all you need is eight. Eight. Here we go. Ready? That's not eight. Oh, no, that's, that's, not a, that's actually a right miss. Now. So we, right now we're missing, but I've got that. So I'm going to use my reroll token. Only reroll token. Already. Well, keep it out, just in One, case. One, two, three, you four. Fail. Well, hang on, I get all the focus back. All right. Ooh, it was <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. So that's one damage. That's only one damage. That's wait, wait, plus two is nine. Oh, can you do one more somehow? No. Yeah, okay. I can pretend and cheat. Yeah, nope, nope. Then nope, nope, I only had one. That. So that was and one really hard hit. And he gets knocked back one. Correct. So, uh, can you move the camera up there so they can see? Yes. So with getting knocked back one, it has to be a straight back if possible. He goes right back yep, to here. There you go. Can, uh, no, I was hoping to knock him into the fence, but I can't. Yeah, no, because he hit him straight. The yeah. blade's super excited about that, though. You that was still it's... awesome. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I need to roll a crit. Oh. No, you didn't roll a crit. If I roll a crit, I can use my knife. Now, question for you. Did you spend all your enemies that you're supposed to for that? Yes, because it's going to cost me four. Okay, so you used all I'm out. All right. Yep. All right, now let's move down to our other two. Yeah, we so really need to do some damage here. I wish I could help you move. You don't need to move, right? No. Okay, I so why don't you do your attack do first, attack? and then I'll, right. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to do something that people are never going to see coming. It's called long shot. Oh, long shot. You're not, huh? All right, so long shot is going to allow me to attack uh, at plus two range, but it's only seven. Four, five, six. Oh, I need to actually get, I actually do have to move one to get to my six. I was thinking I need to be eight. I could use my bow and get even more damage on it. 
So here's the deal. My bow has an ability that I can spend. Uh, when you attack, this gains two animus if you... Wait, when it critical. Well, never mind. I'm not going to use that bow. That's the wrong bow. Well, that's okay. I got the wrong bow with me. I'm totally fine. We're going to move one. Can you move me up one? Uh, This way? Perfect. Is that okay? That's great. Right, right where my head is. I know. I probably yeah. should have probably should have adjusted. Our faces are a little big today. Sorry about that. I'm going to play my card now, which is going to give me plus two range. So I've got six range, and he is one. That's through the green screen. That was amazing. I got you. Let's count that for that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're not enough. No, I'm just kidding. Six range. <laughs> so I get to also do plus two damage to this. So you're already at two. Yep, so I'm at two. I'm going to put this thing into my level one slot over here. Just like that. Nice. And I'm going to roll some dice. I get two yellow because of my might and because of my bow. How do both yellow. your characters have two yellow? I guess my, my bear has two yellow. Because I built for it. Heck! Yes! Yeah! Bring it! I'm going to use three dice too. Okay. Which means I might be using my reroll card again right off the bat. Is that going to be okay? I actually really want you just to get some crits this time. Get some, crits? Get some crits? I like crits. Time. Okay. All right. Ready? Crit here we go. We're going to crit it up, maybe, if I can hit the right buttons here. Pow. All right. Ready? Come on. Crit, crit, it. It, crit it. Oh, there's, oh, a, there's two, some crit. Three misses, though. Bah, bah, bah. You, you literally can't make that scene. I can't just take it as a miss. There's crits there. Uh, I know. Here, do you want an empower or a reroll? <laughs> I want an empower token. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking empower is a good one for her. I'm so sorry. I mean, that mage, you shot that bow, and that mage just looked at you and just moved his head just slightly, and it hit the tree instead. It really did. Yeah, that makes me you know, sad. That was unfortunate. And, oh. and unfortunately, my priest is so far away, I can get right up to his face and do absolutely nothing. Maybe that's not bad. Uh, well, I wanted to target him, not somebody else. Um, let's see, because I can move one, two, and the straight line is just, so for one enemy, I can move two if I play my card. So oh, and the other thing is can use straight two, line. Two, three, about, yeah. four, five, and then maybe I could save that civilian. One, two, three, and that's it. That's all I can do is six enemies. Well, I've got one enemy left. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to do it. All right, you know, do it. What are we going to do? Die. We're not going to die. We're just so going to take man. a few pieces of damage and... All right, where's the card? I had it right in front of me. And I got my I NASA shirt. It makes me feel smart. All right, I'm going to play Righteous Advance. Pay any amount of enemies. Move two for each enemies paid. That's going to go in the one spot. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm going to spend one enemies to move two. Wish I could do more, but that's all I'm going to do. Then I'm going to spend... It has to be uh, in a straight line? Yeah, it has to be in oh. a straight line. Then I'm going to move one, two, three, four. So that costs four enemies. One, two, three, four. I've got one left. Perfect. Ah, two, three. It just saved our fourth civilian. Four civilians saved. Okay. All right. You know what that means? Uh, it's it's pain time. It's four right. rations. Are you ready? It's four. <laughs> it was times two, so that would be eight, eight rations. rations. Don't worry, we'll probably only take four. Uh, we'll probably. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing this game with you too, bears. <laughs> okay. Berserkers, target the closest O swarm. So let's start with this O swarm. Oh, can you move up there? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? Yep. Okay, this one's going to target you. Going to move one. Then, what it says, uh, for each... Bers oh, okay, we need to move each one. The Berserker targets the closest one and move eight to them. So that's the closest one. What about for this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three... Oh, man, you're going to have both on you. That's what he one, two, that's what, three, uh, four, Toby was talking about. Five, six, seven. Yeah, I can't get him to do either of mine. So both of them are going to come and, and go to you right here. North and west, right? So if yep, it was so here, it's going to go, go up this way. Correct. Sorry about that. Very good. Very okay. good. Very good work. Oh. So both of them are there. Okay. Yep. For each berserker adjacent to the target, yes, they are, move the berserker four directly away from the target and place the target in the closest empty hex to that berserker. The target then gains immobilized. So how does this work? Because they're both adjacent to you, and if they both move four away, they can't both take you. So one's going to take you, and the other one won't? Is that how you would understand that? Or are we supposed to do them individually? Well, that's... What do you mean? Like, you're supposed to move... Do the... Osworn tar... The Berserker's target the closest Osworn and move eight to them. Oh, no, you're right. Okay, that's right. They're tearing they want the blade in half. Yeah, they're, they're going to tear them. Pretty I'm pretty much. sure just one of them is going to pull you, and the other one just isn't going to pull anything. Right. And it would always be the farthest north one that would go yep. first. So he can't move four, but he can move one and pull you adjacent to them, and then you become crippled. For the Correct. Next round. And he can't get behind here. This is up against the wall, and that's up against the wall. So he's kind of cornered back yep. there. Yep. So you're going to... Oops, I'm sorry. No, I did that. Green screen. Here, he's going to take the crippled token. Super excited. So you're very so crippled. So I can't move, but I can still fight this berserker. Now, I don't think the other... 
the other berserker would move then. He can still move, but he's. I think they attack me first. No, they see they don't attack. Oh. See then we then we move. Okay. Move the Berserker forward directly away from the target and place the target in the closest empty hex to the Berserker. The target gains immobilize. Then, all Scarab Tribe move forward to their target, and then all Scarab Tribe attack. And that's target and mop. So, I believe the other one will not move. That one has just essentially pulled you in. The other one is there. Now we're going to activate them by moving forward and attacking. So, starting with this one, north and west, mm -hmm. that one doesn't need to move. He's simply going to attack you. We have to decide but we have to move all of the all of them first, right? So this one's here. The second one is going to move here. He's also going to move forward. Uh, he's going to attack the civilian. Oh yeah, you're right. Because so he'll target either one of these civilians. We have to make sure he hits. Is that how that works? Yep. Yeah, because that one is moving forward, and their target is not an Osworn. It's whatever's on this card. Right. So you're right. This one will target you. This one will target one of those guys. This guy's going to target me. She is going to target this one. And he Gosh, is going to target us. Can you just imagine being these civilians? It's like all of a sudden this I lady know. comes on our yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and just stabs her right in the back, and this guy with this chain whip thing comes running in, and this blade went flying away oh from him, thinking he's saved. All of a sudden, Jaw! yeah, this is this is awesome. They're isolating okay. me. Yes, they are isolating you. I'm gonna try and come and help you with this bear, except for I might be in a little bit of trouble dealing with Took this guy. Nine. He's gonna face him. Okay, so let's start with the one up here attacking you. So okay, right so now it's only a yellow, yellow, yellow and a red. red. That's yellow it. And red. So are you so, gonna do anything for defense? You bet you believe it. You, you bet, bet you believe, you believe it. it. That's right. You bet you What's this one say? If you have moved at least three this turn, battle flow the card. Wait a second. How does the mob rule work? Do we add the two? No, no, because you don't have you don't have two people targeting no, you. No, I don't. One. Only but one. But with the mob rule, would they add them together? How does mob, mob is only for movement. Not, it was the rats had a different thing where they added their attacks yes. together. Okay. I All believe. Right. I'll look it up. Well, give me the thing while you're working on your defense. Thank you. That's tricky. See how I threw it across the board? That was awesome. Mob, 23. I'm going to use a defense. What are you using? Instead of playing a defense card when attacked, gain three defense against the attack. If you yep, are... Here we go. Uh, when a character is attacked by one or more mob enemies, use the total mind of all the mob enemies attacking the character. So, the nice thing for us is that... None of them are attacking anybody. Yes, Toby's got it. Toby yep. helped us. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Toby. Yep. That's just what I was reading. Okay, so that means that, um, but the thing is, is no one is getting attacked by more than one of them. Correct. So we're, we're okay. All right, um, so why don't you do yours first? What are you doing for defense? Well, you know. Right now they don't hit that hard. Only I know, two? I'm kind of wondering if I have, oh, I got only two defense. You want to block something. with something, because maybe you can take no damage. I think you want to. I'm going to do a winnowing strike here and give myself two defense. I heard that free company with good food is coming to town. Wait, who's that crazy lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna so you're going to use defense? that? Two defense? Sure, That's so I'll give myself card. four defense. Four defense. Are you flipping yours or mine? I can flip these over here. Okay. So I got so, two yellow, or no, yellow and red, just a red, right? yellow and red. All right, did I shuffle those? Oh, whatever, we'll find out. Red, no, you're out of, um, Nope, didn't shuffle them. Okay, I like it when Colin reads the rules instead of Bear. Thanks, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> I only read half the rule. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's three. You took no damage. I took no damage. You we blocked like that. that. Awesome. I'm a big fan of that. All right. Let's do the civilian now up here. Mm -hmm. So they, if they take even one damage, they're done. Super dead. Uh, dad, just draw the other one. So that oh, civilian. That oh, my gosh. Get that four out of there. That civilian, unfortunately, is toast. Can you put toast ones over there? Yep, I'll put toast ones. Do the other one for the other yep. civilian. Let me get my toaster over going. <laughs> you do the other civilian? Oh, yeah, here. Super dead civilian. Oh, yeah, that's super that's three right? Come on, you know, uh, four. Another, oh, oh, it's a blank. Well, serious. why waste that? Come on. Mm. All right, that's, Why did that's you right. take my blank? Now I'm getting attacked. I'm, let's do the were war bear. And let's see. Which character is this? This is not the war bear. War bear is over here. Uh, I already have three defense. Maybe I want, what's my one card? Because then I can push. Uh, I think I'm going to just add two to make it a five. So I'm going to use this one so I can get that one card back. That one card is going to slide over to the zero. And so it's now, I have a defense of five. What's he attacking me for? Nothing. Absolutely smurfly nothing. <laughs> okay. Then the mage is attacking my priest. My priest has a three as well. Do I have a one that has any defense on this one? Do I want to make it a four? Or do I want to make it more? The four, I want to make it more. <sighs> More with the four. I know what he four. should do. Well, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make it just a four, spending my other one with a one. That's going to battle flow my righteous advance. So it's a three. 
Oh, five. So I took one damage. You're dead. All right. So Priest is down to five. That's okay. Uh, you know, he the wants to get down to thing. I think we did okay no, that round. That was totally fine. We took one damage. All right. Uh, so we've and we take one damage to them. Yeah. There's more of them. There's five of them, and they killed two civilians, though. Okay, next card we have is War Warcry. I'm sure that's going to be a whole bunch of good. Sounds and guttural voices raised to join it. <laughs> All Scar try to move five to their targets, so their targets could be nope. either a civilian or a hero, uh, an Osworn. If the Osworn's adjacent, it would be them, otherwise it's a civilian. All Scar tribes target, they do the mob, and each attack redraw up to one blank. Ooh. All Scar tribe move three directly away from the target. So after they take out their their person, they're going to run away from them. Or attack them, they're going to run away from them. Okay, nice. Let's move this away. All right, we now go back to the refresh. Let's refresh. Two, four, six. I'm going to gain my two, two four, four, three, six. six and get, get cards card. back into our hand. So this my is archer is going to give her... Oh, I had two animus left with her. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Maybe move up two. Say it again. I should have moved to. I had two animus left with her, and she can never carry any over. Oh. Just move her forward to. Here? Sure. Okay, that looks like a great That's idea. That's a great idea. Glad okay. I had that on camera. I really, really want to push that guy into that tree. Yes. Yes, yes you do. Yes. I can. Let's push him into a tree. I can probably do that with That's both guys. Good. I got to knock back two. Did you really just say that? I did. <laughs> All right. Let's start. Who are you going to start with? I think that's salt I, and pepper that sings that song. I've gotten all excited now. I need to be patient. Who are you going to start with? Oh, am I doing something? Well, I hope so. Well, I could shoot with the... Okay. If... <laughs> hmm. Do... What are we... Which one are we going for this time? Okay. Uh, let's go. Your blade the... is easy. He ain't moving. No. So, uh, Should I just, just hit something? Just, just hit something over Oops, there. That's oh, that's a good one. Why don't, you, why don't you just hammer him? Hammer him hard. Or with, with your... Uh... Hammer him hard, he says. I'll hammer him I hammer actually have a hammer. I have a sledgehammer. Yes, you do. Priest. You hammer all over the world. <laughs> no right. song. When you critical drain attack that hits, add two damage and two knockback. Oh. Uh, let's I want to do like something that gives me back my cards. Okay. While you're designing oh. and being slow, I am going to do something awesome. I am going to do spending two for my priest, so I can move one two. I'm coming over here. That way, I am knocking over your character. That way, I am able to hit this guy and push him into that. So Love I am it. going to do the weight of glory. So this costs three animus. Wow. I'll have one left, but it's an, it's an attack with a knockback two. If the target collides with anything during the knockback, one character within range three gains a shield token. Okay, you want me to move first? Yeah, do you, do you want your... Uh, the I was just going to give it to him. The... Oh, well, you can do well, it, right? Right? Because with yeah. one ca well, you see that, the war bear. Yeah, I'm not going to get the war bear over there. I want him to stay where he is. Okay. So that's a three card, though. It's going to take forever to get back. But it's I get it. one red, and I have no empowers. So I'm going to do one red and three white. Four dice. Four dice seems really nice. Let's hit this guy. And I have three blanks. What is with us in dice rolling today? Well, look at the bright side, Colin. I brought the cards out. Oh, my gosh. Three blanks. You have enough. Re we only have one reroll token. Yeah, that's See, not worth because it. we went the wrong way. I think I might. Gosh, I don't get to nothing. You can't do anything. You no, just no, get no. a token. I know. I'm saying. I think I might get the. That's it. Ah, ah, token for you. Empower or. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna. Dude, I feel like I need to get a reroll just to make these hits hit. I'm gonna get another reroll, man. Okay. I'm gonna get another reroll. We need to actually do damage to these guys. I think the blade just might attack. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Is there any way I can do it twice though? Let's one. See here. Three, and then two. I can attack twice. Want me to attack twice? Uh, why would you not want to attack twice? As long as you don't push him away. Well, let's go use Master Parry to attack. I don't know if I want to use Master Parry to attack. Maybe I can battle flow a card around that will give me the ability to attack. Okay, as you decide that, I'm going to do some Primal Rage. I'm pissed. Okay. Okay. Back We're going to do some Primal Rage. We're going to hit that pack leader. Pack it up. Okay. This is a four. Pack it up. Pack it in. Two, Let me begin. Four. I only have two left. I've got That's an Empower know. token. I'm going to Empower this attack, the first one. Okay. I'm going to put it over here because I can get that back if I fail. I'm going to attack that pack leader. Uh, so that gives me two yellows for sure. I'm going to pump both of those up. Well, I, can, I only empowered once. So I'm going to power one to a black and one to a red. I will not forget, Dan. I definitely will not forget. And then two more whites. Don't forget blades. What? War chance. Okay. Prior to attacking. I am the blade. Okay. Two of them okay. now. War bear, first attack. First attack. You do it. Four dice, a black and a red. 
This better not miss. And it does not miss. It crits too. So I got a crit Maybe with a white. Get over there. Oh, okay. let me see if I have any cards that crit. What's my weapon? Let's see. Before Brew drawing, games is here. Before drawing damage, uh, for thank, your you first for thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Done that one. When you critical drain an attack that hits, add one damage and one knockback. I don't want to knock him back. I'm gonna no, wait. You're already knocked back. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not knocked back with this attack. Oh, this is yeah. Clear. That was the one guy that he missed. I trained. He missed. Oh, nothing. Four, five, six, seven. So I dealt him one damage. Hit him for one. Which side? Oh, this side. I'm, I'm hitting him right in the center. So yeah. I don't. Either the core or the core. Which I think core? the core. The core. You want to hit him the core? Right. Okay. All right. That was the first attack. Now I'm gonna do the second one. The second one, I have to do two yellows, and I'm gonna do two whites. Okay. Oh, and that used my empower token, so I'm going to put my empower token away. Two yellows, two whites for the second attack. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Two yellow crits, you guys. Two yellow crits. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm dealing two damage right here. I need another yellow, please. Okay. Love it. Come on. Crit again. Crit again. Oh! Okay, all right, all right, come on, bring it. This is the war bear. He's showing up, or she's showing up today. Uh, okay, well, that's all right. Three, that's all right, fine. all right, let's see. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. If you use oh. a reroll token, you get 20. Uh, I'm gonna use a reroll. Ah, uh, come on. Time I don't let's care. Do it. <laughs> reroll it. I want 20. That's four damage then, it right? Would be four damage. Uh, no! Okay, three damage. Three. To this uh, guy? The same side. We'll do the same side. So he's down to two. Oh, what? Uh, let's see. What was I gonna that do? That was huge. Uh, when you critical. No, that's the wrong guy. Uh, did I have something about running a critical? Maybe. Yes, I do. When you critical during an attack that hits, add one damage and one knockback to the attack. I'm going to use my spiked club. That will put it to 20. Oh, boom. 20. He's down to one health in the On core. that one side. He's on the core. Boom. Yep. Okay. Now that awesome. is an item. I don't so that goes into here, the three so yeah. slot. It wouldn't battle flow anything if anything was there, but nothing was there. So the war bear managed to knock this guy down to one, wow. one damage in one turn there. That was awesome. That yeah. was probably the best roll I've ever seen well, it in made the up entire for our, world. Our absolute failures at Wilders. the beginning. Uh, he's going to get Wowzers, he says. Uh, that was fantastic. That was the best thing. Okay, I I don't want to go next. Why not? <laughs> I can't do anything like that. I'm going to pay one Animus to battle flow a card. Co Colin channels his inner <sighs> anger out oh, into that role. Yeah, that's <laughs> yes. about it. Battle flow a card. All right. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't really going to matter. Oh, no. Never mind. My battle flow. <laughs> I almost knocked back that guy into myself. Oh, <laughs> wait, which guy? damage to both of us. This guy was going to knock back no, that so guy. No, so from what I understand, when you knock back, if it goes to the edge, they don't bounce off. Oh, they yeah. did. No, from what I remember, awesome. from what I remember, I'll read knock back quick, but if they hit the wall, they stop. Okay, you read, look for that. Yep. I'm going to shoot my archer here. Knock back. It's got to have that on here. Break, uh, be... Where's knock back? No, that's not going to do anything. I should, I should not have brought that card. Oh, not back. Page 30. A character suffers knockback when they're targeted by an attack that has a knockback. Keyword as long as the attack does not miss. Of course, I missed when I did it. Knockback occurs even if the character being attacked dies. Okay, other effects may also cause a character to suffer knockback. When multiple characters knock oh, back, I they thinking of moving. When yeah, exactly. Move. When a character is affected by knockback, move them directly away in a straight line from the source. A number of hexes indicated on the effect. If the knockback is called by a large character, blah, blah, blah. If there's more than one hex the character can move into, it's north and west. If a character will be knocked back into a hex containing an obstacle, the character loses one HP. Uh, but that's not what's happening. If a character would be knocked back into it, another character, both lose. If the character is knocked back past the edge of the board, they instead stop at the board edge. This does not count as a character colliding with an obstacle. Oh, yeah. It's not really going to matter. For so you. if okay. you run him into the wall, it's not going to do anything. Archer's going to move one. Move him uh, through the boat. There you go. Towards the keeper next to that house. Okay, what, what are Move you doing? The archer I'm one. sorry. There you go. This one, I'm, I'm still yep. reeling with that attack. That was That's awesome. pretty good. Okay. And now I'm four squares away from the bad guy, right? You got it. And how far away from I from the big dude? Which You mean the pack leader? Yeah. You're six. Okay. You could hit him. I don't have long shot. That's what but I could doing. move two more, putting me next to the corner of that house. Right there? Yep. You want to do that? Yep. Okay. And then let's make sure, I, I should probably read the card before I do it. I just read the top part. Multi-shot. You may only play this ability if you're no enemies adjacent okay, to correct yeah. attack. This attack targets up to three enemies in your frontal arc. So your frontal arc, you can hit that one, that one. Uh, can you get that far? No. Okay, so you can hit two of them. Correct. Um, 
front arc, attack once and apply all targets to the, what do you say, fully painted Fully painted bear, bear makes an impact. Definitely. Unpainted bear runs around right. saving that's people. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Those who have missed that. That was, that. That was amazing. Time. Yes, that's oh, all the bear did last time because the worm was all the way on the other side of the board. So, uh, Attack once and apply all the targets to ignore the highest value card unless all targets are adjacent to at least one of the other targets. So I have to ignore the highest no. one, but yeah, I can yeah. hit two guys. I think that's worth it. Might be. I think are you knocking any of them back? No. No. Okay. We're just going to do that. Now, I'm going to use my uh, super to token. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to use a super token 9,000. Super token 9,000. To take, uh, for how much I've been missing, we're going with the black die. Yeah. I, Let's just well, go You dice. realize that you still miss 50% of the, or what, 33 Oh, I have to get rid of the highest die, right? Yeah. So you don't want. No, why would I want to do that? Yeah, don't empower, man. No. Because you're going to, right? No, actually, just give me all yellow dice. That's a great idea. How many, how many do you need? I need two more. There you go. Two more? Okay. Five dice. Wait, how are you, you doing? Really yellow. Yellow. How you doing? Okay. I so got empowered two, two oh, and, then you're empowering, and you're empowering three more. Three of them into yellow dice, and then I've got my two that I get for my normal bow. Okay. All right. That's so we're gonna good. Get, and you've got what? One reroll? I got one so reroll. So don't have more than two misses. And we get to divide. We get to do this damage, right? At least uh, attack once and apply it to all targets. Here yep. we go. So you want to do at least one damage to both these guys. Well, let's go over here so you can see where this roll is. It's going to be glorious. Come on. Oh, that was glorious! Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at that! Rid of this one. Here, I got another yellow over Don't here. Don't worry, I got yellow too, because I have to oh. get rid of the highest die. And this, this is a three. You can choose the three. I'm going to choose this three because it's not the crit. Okay. Let me see. Not anything that helps me with crits. When you crit during an attack, you, this hit gains two animus. You uh, get to gain two animus back. We get two animus back. Well, you might as well do that after you. I'm yeah. going to because I didn't even pay for my card yet. That's typical. Oh, that's okay. That's good. Three, Three, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. That's, that's two, two damage to two. each of them. They'll take it. Oh my gosh! Okay, so that's two to the to the this like dude to the mage. You, you didn't hit that one. All right, and then no, I, I airballed, hit? man. Should I have him? A, should we lose? No, no, no. Go six down right, to four, four man. Okay. We, we don't need a break yet. I would I would wait and then break those right at the end. You know, six minutes time. The black die hits every every time. Oh yeah, I I, I wish sixty percent of the time. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna use this then. Um, when you during when you critical during attack, you gain back to animus. So we got to go over to this character because I've been kind of iron nilly willy nillying her stuff around here. It's pretty typical. Um, so we use three to move, which I already put over here, and then I used uh, apparently th I apparently cheated because this one costs four. Oh, I used four. I used it in the wrong direction. You're supposed to get seven, so you use three to move, right? Oh yeah, yep. And then you use four to play the card. The problem is you because you're using all of them every time, and sometimes it's easy to forget. Yeah. Now I don't even know if it's worth getting the two back. Because yeah, are you gonna? What can you do with two? Can you do a quick shot? An enemy just when you battle flow one card. Could you do a quick shot? Because you're in range three of that mage. If you could hit that mage one more time. I can. This attack costs two. Perfect. Yeah. So then I think that might be worth it. Right. So get so the I'm two. So I'm going to use the bow. Because how often do you crit? Exactly. Hit, put in your three. It does not battle flow, unfortunately. So I'm going to take two back. But I am going to play this, which is going to battle flow two cards. Beautiful. And it's Which your I can pay two to oh, attack. Oh, again, it's... man. Oh, that's on her. Because she, I mean, you, you haven't used her green screen yet. They're all switched on every single one of them. Uh... There's probably some magical maneuver I don't know about. So you're saying that you have to change it within each screen set. Yeah. I got it. There you I go. Got it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this card. And I'm just going to pay the two. Because notice it normally costs zero to play this card. I can attack by pay two. Now, of course, you're going to say what you're playing. Children of the Forest. Oh, Children of the Forest. Uh, oh, come on! Children of My the Forest! My primal rage was very primal rage. It was so rage. That, that was, that was awesome. Not. We're going to use two white, yellows and two whites, and we do one damage. That's what I'm hoping for here. And you're attacking right. the uh, shaman. Not the yes, shaman. I'm attacking the shaman. The shaman's at four. Yep. Knock it down to three, please. Knock it down to three. Knock it down to three. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, we got three misses. Three so what misses. token do you want? <laughs> well, I guess I'll take that in power token. Yeah, there. I think that's... <laughs> No, pretty good last time. Hey, you know what? You got a token. That that's yeah, a token helpful. Of the deal. That's helpful. All right, that's the end of that. Now um, you still have your blade, and I think my war bear. Oh, he's not within range of anything. So the blade is just going to attack. I attack twice, but then I'm really setting myself up to an attack. I think all I'm going to do with my war bear, so he, that this guy does not attack the civilian next to him, is move up one, and I'm going to keep one enemies. For both my priest and my war bear, so when I generate six next time, I'll have seven for that next turn, which I like. Okay, I got a ruling question for you in this one. Yeah, what is it? Okay, you does not say move. Place your figure in the hex opposite side of an adjacent enemy. I'm pretty sure you can't do it. I mean, it doesn't make sense. You're crippled, man. I know. Yeah, I would say you can't. Swing and miss. Thanks. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't know anyone went for the swing and miss. <laughs> that yeah. roll was was like it was rolled by a child. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. I got so many people against me there. Dude. That was the problem, Matt. He's swinging with a bow. Yeah, That's true. Uh, uh, I'll, swing I'll, I'll, this. I'll, I'll use a fire the bow arrow next time. Um, I mean, really, all I can do is play this. Pay three to attack. Just to attack. I think you know what? Then I'll get all my animus yeah. back for next turn. Yeah. Not a bad idea, right? You don't have any anything else that you can do? Well, you don't have any other adjacent attacks? I can attack with this one, but then that's one of my defense cards. What's its uh what does it go to? Oh, it goes to three, two? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to do that because Right. It takes forever to get back. Right. That's so why don't you do the why don't you do the one that costs three to attack? See what you do. Okay. And then yeah. So what I'm gonna do exactly what opposite what Colin said. I'm gonna attack with this card first. Just exactly. <laughs> I got a plan. I'm trying oh, you got a plan. Okay, if you got a way to get it back, that's yep, awesome. I do. I got a so way to get back. Does that cost four? Uh, no, it's going to cost me two. One. Oh, it's only one. Two. I thought it was a three. Right. It two. goes into your third slot. It does your, go into my yep. third slot, which is kind of, which is going to be tough for me, but that's okay. Um, it's going to go right here. It's going to cost me two. One, two, and I've got four left. All right. Remember that. I want to see you attack. You've got two okay. yellow, man. You got two yellow. Ready? I'm going to use two yellow. Okay. I'm going to use two white. Two this this two seems white. to have been the best plan. A three white? No, wait, how many? You only have one. You don't have any rerolls. Two no. White. Two white. Two white. This is how you get tokens back. This is how you get tokens. <laughs> See? You get yep, tokens, tokens back, back that way. I'll and you attack for two anyway. So wow. what do you want? A reroll? I'll or? take a reroll token. Yeah, I think, I think we want a reroll. Right. Now comes the plan. Ready for my plan? No. Okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna we're going to do it anyways. I'm going to play this one for the three to attack. Okay. okay. So that means you have one enemy left. Correct. Well, oh, that's a zero. Left. Okay. It is a so zero. You'll get it back. I'll nice. get the card back. It's my zero card. Why don't you spend your three animus? Because you always forget to spend your animus. I'm going to spend my three animus. All right. And then I'm going to attack. Why don't you um, show them the board? So when you sure. Yeah. I can do that. There you go. There you go. Yep, here comes the plan. You ready? It's going to work. It's going to work. Come on, play. Steve, we've saved four civilians. Yes, it worked. That failed, man. No, come oh, okay. on. i got to reroll tokens. Okay. Right. Have some faith, my man. I, I have faith. I have faith. Oh my gosh! Oh, that so rolled cool. to a one. So uh, okay. hold on, you got to move your head. They can't see. Oh, I'll just right. put it over here. And then you have a crit. Roll your crit in. Yes, rolling my crit. Here we go. Oh, another roll crit. another crit. See, look at this. This is what roll I'm talking a about. See, crit. roll a Those crit. Those that doubted roll my plan. Roll a crit. Okay, that's so good. That's so good. Three, Three, six, six nine, 12, 12, 12 okay. 13 points so of damage. That's two damage. So that's two damage. Two damage. Two damage. the berserker that's got his hand up in the air like this and I'm swinging there. All right, Steve. Quick catch up. We have four that we have saved. Uh, I have saved all but one of them. Bear did accidentally save one, not even on purpose. Yeah. Uh, we lost two, though, I think, right? Lost yes. two, saved There four. are two over here that are dead. Yep. Okay, so that's how we're doing. That's how uh, we're doing. Here comes the plan. Evening, gents. <laughs> okay. How's it going, Kevin? Kevin, good to have you here. <laughs> Thanks oh, for joining. Thank you for joining again. So here's my plan. You ready? I'm ready. I, I changed down my weapon just for this. When you critical and hit with an attack, battle flow card. So I'm going to battle flow that three. three. That we said it might get tough to bring back. Brings the, the two. Battle flow to the two. This goes into two. Actually, yes. The yes. Battle, battle flow happens before the card hits. Yeah, but unfortunately that, that card doesn't battle flow anything because no. it's an item. But that's, that's okay. That's okay, yeah. Because I got twos and stuff I can play without any problem. Okay, you have one enemy left. Are you just leaving it? I'm going to leave it. Okay, so now you can remove the cripple because I think we're all done. Yep, and it's the end of the old sworn phase. Yes. All right, this is going to be a little easier to do our activation. You want to put the card over here? All right, all Scar move five towards their targets. So I don't think, okay, this one has to move. Can you go up there on the screen? Oh, yeah, I can go up there yeah. on the screen. This one has to move one space here. Unfortunately, that civilian's probably toast. Everyone yes. else is adjacent. Let's see, one? No, no, this one isn't. It's not. Oh, mob rule. It's yep. going to definitely, oh. oh, yeah. So they're north, both going to attack north you. North and west. North and west. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, so he's so you're going to get attacked by two. Again. Sven's going to attack by one. I'm going to attack by one and one. Okay. And it says all scribe tri uh, Scar Tribes attack. So let's do that. We'll start with yours. So that's going to be two yellow and two red. I'm going to use a three defense card. Yeah. It's going to be uh, this one right here. I'm going to throw this up into my slot up there. So I have five defense. The best I can do. Okay. Get two yellow and two red. Right. Here. No, it's the mob roll. I'm going to hit by four. Two, no, red, two, two yellow, yellow and two red. Two. Oh, I thought you yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ready? No. Miss. It's a one. Miss. Okay, that's a miss. Miss. That's a miss. <laughs> Nothing I took. Oh, oh yeah. So the blade. blade. The blade. <laughs> okay. I got my right. two daggers out there, like parry. Oh both my things. gosh. And this is exactly how he parries a <laughs> 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 Like like he actually stick. has extra arms. They don't even know it. They just come out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, I'm out of control. All right, okay. now let's do the civilian. Okay. Gonna die. Oh yeah, here you yeah, go. Just one red, one yellow. Bleh. Oh, oh, the civilian survived! 
<laughs> wow, that was the that was the dodgiest that dodge That civilian ever probably was bending over to grab something yeah. and accidentally dodged the spear lady. Yeah. That is awesome. Or okay. charged at the spear and she's like, what? What? <laughs> And the crowd okay. goes wild. War, yes, right, we did. War we bear, wild, Dan. War bear is next. I think what I'm gonna do for my my defense. Oh, this is a one feral roar. I don't think I need to do feral roar, oh, but I love feral roar. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use feral roar for two more defense. I have a total defense oh. of five. That's gonna battle flow my one down to a zero, so I can get my uh, Ooh, that's one nice. back. So that's just a yellow and a red. One, Ready? one of each. A two. Three, five. Dang, I'm a five and he's a five, so I'm gonna use one shield to take nothing. Okay. All right. Well, you had five defense? Yeah, because I did I did a three and a two. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, okay, priest is next. One, two, three, four. Are we missing one? one oh no, because no, those I two got attacked. Double together. smashed. Alright, so I've got three defense over here. I think I'm going to. Ooh, I got an idea. I'm gonna play this one for defense. So that gives me two more defense. I have a total defense of five. Can you go to my priest? Oh, you do. Okay. You're there. So because I'm playing that, that's gonna pop to here. Okay. And then hold on before you flip. Uh, before character is drawn against a character within range three, I'm gonna use this for myself um, against the damage, but you lose one. Oh, maybe I'm. What's not. the point? That's not a good idea. Never no. mind. I wanted to battle flow my three down. Oh, well, That's maybe why. you just want to do that just to battle but flow. But no, I lose a damage Yeah. against the damage, but you lose one. I don't really want to lose one health. Oh, I had this idea. But that's okay. I'll wait. All right. His plan did not work. My plan did not work. I feel I feel Baron's pain. A six. So I take one damage. So the priest is down to four. It's okay. If anybody taking four. damage, we're okay with yep. that one. Because that one kind of heals. Ex kind of heals? He does heal. Once he gets to three, he'll just continue nice. to heal. The civilian's right. bent over, inadvertently dodging the spear while oh. causing the enemy to trip over. <laughs> that's about it. With luck. Oh, Broccoli Docklands! Yes. With luck, we are sure that's a random civilian, or is it actually Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> it's Jar Jar Binks! Oh no! It totally is! There it is! We have to is. save Jar Jar Binks now. I'm gonna that's spend my whole happening. next turn getting like, over there. You better not. Uh, okay. Better. <laughs> all right, now what they're all going to do, move three directly away from their target. So, she goes, screw that. Oh wait, let's start with these ones, right? How does he move directly away from you? Uh, he's gonna hit that wall and come back and keep hitting me and going back and left. So he, he stays just right stay there. there. This one will just move three directly away. One, one, two, three. Well, he's gonna move direct directly away. Is this way, right? Right. So why don't we move her first? One, two, three. Okay. And then move this one. One, two, and then it can't go any further this way. So it's gonna north. Then oh, that's not okay. Yeah, right there. So he's gonna go right there. Yep. Okay, this guy's gonna go one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Back here, and they gotta always face the way that they're. Oh yeah, not that it really matters right now. And then that was one, two, three. Well, it does three. because some of my cards have back attacks. Oh, that's right. One, two, three, four. Which so I then totally forgot about. The only one left is this guy or gal. Can you move or dude? Oh yeah. What's three? What's three away from this one? Can you move over there. Kind of. My head's in the way. Here, I got a better plan. I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, so. Move, move this way. Move this way. North and west. So would you say it moves this way? Sure. One, one two, two, and then I guess three because it's gonna have to go north. Okay, and have it turn. Yeah, that's this. the way I would do it. Okay. The um, only reason we can't, we don't know how to move this guy is because he's stuck up there. Those three spaces you see where that guy is up on that board are the only three spaces he can physically move. So maybe he moves into the corner spot over in the northwest. I think that maybe what yeah. he do. Let's just have him move here. And then make him turn away from me because I want to hit him. <laughs> oh! Because he does face the way he's moving. Mm -hmm. Done. All right, good. That's the second card. Let's put that over here. And our next one, Chain Hook. Oh, that Same sounds about the same. Sounds right. exciting. Berserkers. Dude, you got, uh, do you want me to come over and, and, and help you with the Berserkers? Nah, I don't need to help you. You're fine. <laughs> uh, War Bear wouldn't be bad to have up there. And if, no, you'll take care. Actually, the War Bear could go stand in front of both these guys and take them. Yeah. Seriously. That's a deal. Uh, all right. uh, end of round, nothing else. Refresh phase. Let's I'm going to get ahead. all some of my things. not going to get any cards. This goes defense. to... Bite. Yep, this goes Blade to Blade is going to get back this card and get two, four, two, four six. six. Animus. And two, And somehow four, he needs his stuff back. Six. Heck yeah. Priest is ready. All right, Priest, what are you doing? What are you doing, Priest? It's something else. So if anybody's interested in knowing what's going on, the blade is in Viper stance right now. What are you thinking? You're no longer immobilized. Yeah, but sadly I was hoping in a different stance. But you know, we'll have to do what we can. 
Okay, well, while you're... Oh, I can't attack the priest. That dude moved. Why am I thinking the priest can attack? All right, why so can't you? Me... Run over and get him. I, can... I know, but it just takes time to run over there. No, I know he does. That's why I did it. He's like, one, two, you guys. three. Took his ball in one hole. I have to ignore one of the enemies. I only have three cards of the blades. I gotta figure out something to do here. One, two, three. Somersault. Boss, if the card is normal size and loses any, throw them with it. Oh, man. Okay. Would it help if I knocked back the character? No, no, no. I want, I want you. I, can I, can I um, throw the, the big guy? Please. That I'm really not going to say no. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use three enemies to move three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to toss them like a bag of rocks. Okay, so this cost me my other four. Okay, so he's all done, but I don't have any tokens for him. Uh, if the target is normal sized and loses any health, throw them to a hex within range three of you, even if they're dead. Wow. If they land on another enemy or obstacle, they collide as if knocked back. Enemies that they land on also suffer knockback one in, in any direction that is not towards you. Place the thrown target as close to the target hex as possible. Does that sound kind of fun? I think you should do that. I mean, I kind of. I think you need right. to do that. So that's my. My two that's gonna put this one down here, and that's gonna put this here. Oh, show you uh, that. Uh, I've got that two yellows. I just want to do one damage to him yet, right now. So, two yellows and two whites. You had all my yellows, sorry. I that. did, yeah. Uh, that, that's all that I have. I have, I don't have any re rolls. Do you get a power token for anything, or just the beginning of the battle? Just the beginning of the battle. Okay, come on, come on, just one damage. I want to throw this guy so bad. Oh, that'll work. Oh, Three, enough. six, seven, eight. Nine ten. That's two damage. Really? Three six seven. Yeah, nine, ten. Three plus that, two that, is five, that, and I see two fives yeah, out there. Uh, that, so that's, that's ten. That's ten. That's two damage to him. So put him down to a two. To a two. Yeah. And he's gonna go down to a one because I'm gonna throw him within range three. And what do you say? I hit the uh, civilian Jar Jar Binks. I want to say I hit this guy because he suffers a knockback and he can run into that and he'll take a damage. Right. So if I understand this card right, okay. Uh, if the target is normal size and loses any health, throw them to a hex within range three of you. Oh, thank you. Even if they're dead. If they land on another enemy or obstacle, they collide as if knocked back. Okay? So, he's going to knock into this guy. This guy's going to get knocked back into this and lose one health. And then this guy will move right here. How do you knock him back from, like, do you just take him and all of a sudden pick up and swing him into him? Like I basically that? chucked him into his, in, uh, exactly. Like, you don't have to throw him from the square you're in? Is it throw, so are we throwing them from where he is or from if where you If the target are? is normal size and loses any health, throw them to a hex within range three of you. Okay. That's all it says. So you're going to throw it here. Yep, so okay. I throw it there. If they land on another enemy or obstacle, they collide as if knocked back. Enemies that they land on also suffer knockback one in any direction that's not towards you. So he gets knocked back into this house. Okay. So he's going to lose a health. Put him down by one. Okay, he's, so he's at five. He's five. And then um, place the thrown target as close to the target hex as possible. So, so north and west. Would you put him here? Nope, north. Right back where he was. Oh, that's cool. That's good. I want right? him to target me. Yeah. I want to, I agree with you. I agree with you. Because he has to go wherever this square was, right? Yep. Okay. I agree with you. North, then west. Threw it there, hit him, dropped him back in the same spot. That was a good toss. All right. Toss that. Yeah, uh, so we've got, what, a two and a one on the pack leader? A yeah. five on one berserker, a three on another berserker? The bone made him we hadn't even touched. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to touch her now. Dude! I'm going to use this card. <laughs> the battle floor card. Can you cut that out? I no. I <laughs> there, Robin, were you listening? Hopefully no, Robin wasn't listening. Uh, the war, man, war chief manhandled the chieftain. It was, yeah, yeah that war, yeah. that was a pretty, that was an yeah. amazing move. Basically just picked him amazing up, chucked him, threw him against there. I love this oh, war bear. So right. much fun. Oh. I am going to use the archer to battle flow this card. Now, the way it works then is this actually hits the ground. I battle flows back into my hand. Shouldn't he lose two health, one for getting the other guy knocked into him, and one for hitting the house? I, I have a feeling no, because it just says uh, they collide as... Oh, yeah! If they land on an enemy or an obstacle, they collide as if knocked back. Uh, when when people get oh, knocked, they back, knocked back, they, they get take a damage. One damage. So they both take one? Enemies that they land on also suffer knockback one in any direction that is not towards you. Place the thrown target as close to the target hex as possible. So they I, both take one plus, then he gets knocked back into the thing? I feel like that's too powerful. I feel like it should just be one. 
Let's go with just one. We're going to go with just one, and if we're wrong, we can make the adjustment. Right. But, uh, it'll make it more fun anyways. Long shot. Long shot. Okay. What else does the archer do but long shot? I really, that's the deal here. Um, I don't see why I would do anything else. I'm going to pay my four animus. One, two, three, four. See, you did it. <laughs> you actually paid for your card? Put it right there. I don't believe it. Okay, I'm going to shoot the bone maiden. Oh, uh, you can empower it? You bet. Yes. That's why I miss so often, so I can get him power tokens. <laughs> I'm going to use five yellow dice. Bone made in one, two, three, four, five. Within range six, so you're good. Yep. yep. Can I get two more dice? Oh, of yellow? Yellow. Oh, dude. See, so this could be good. This could be yellow bad. city. That's the deal. You only have one reroll, man, so you cannot roll more than two blanks for that one reroll. Do you want me to turn one into a red one, then? It's just the more yellow dice. Right, just so I get two. Okay. Do you want me to do a yellow and a red, and then instead of two yellow? Kind of, because okay. there's less dice. Colin has spoken. Colin has spoken. If you, if you miss, you can blame me. Blame it on that Colin. He doesn't know that song because he's too young. <gasps> double crit! Oh, this is going to be super good. Okay, double click on uh, two yellows. Here you go. Oh, it's a nine. You're only doing one damage. But can I get plus add... two. Oh, 11. Three, That's six, two damage. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Colin ruins my fun by counting for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. There's eleven. There's eleven. <laughs> 11 damage, so that's uh, 2 to the Bone Maiden, so bone she's down to a, to a 4. Nice. Alright, so we just put some good people back up to speed here. Here comes our little dudes here. So, okay. bone we have... Bone Maiden at a 4. Yep. We've got the pack leaders basically done at a 2 and a 1. Shaman's at a 4. Yep. Uh, the, you, you're in the way of the Berserker. It's okay, he's berserker got a 5. Berserker has a 5. The other Berserker is at a 3. So we've hit every single one of them now. Yes. We're, we're knocking them down. Knocking now them we down. might need to start thinking about taking them out. Yes. Yep. That was an awesome shot. You that was any, really good. You do anything else? or um, do some of the priest? She's got two more animus left. She'll wait and see what you guys do. All right. So I'm going to use this for my priest, spending one animus so that I can move two for one. And that will also push my pillar and path down. So that was my righteous advance. Righteous. Okay, then I'm going to spend one Animus to get next to this guy. And then I'm going to spend one more Animus to save this guy. One, two, three. Oh, saved another one! Oh, much to bear chagrin. <laughs> oh, that was worth it in every sense of the word. Uh, then, oh man, I'm starting to run out of defense cards. I need to think here for a second. If I use that, I can do that. I can do that. It'll cost me three. Yeah, yeah. This one, what will if just, I did that? this one will just cost me three and get me that card back into my hand. All right, this is going to cost me three. I'm just going to use the heavy blow. Uh, I'll have one Enemus left, and I'm going to hit that guy from behind. And then that goes into my zero slot, so it actually gets me pillar and path back into my hand, which I like. So I've got two re-rolls. I roll one red. Oh, what's my weapon? I think I've got a... Oh, it's a critical. Nice, so sneaky like, really vanilla. That's right. Tune, you love it, Cincinnati Cats. Cincinnati Cats, good Thank to you see you. Joining. Thanks for joining. Thanks so much for joining. You came just in time for some "Blame It on the Rain." Mm. Colin still doesn't know that song. I don't. What are you talking about? He doesn't know anything about Millie Vanilli. Can you move to the the board? Thank you. Wait a second. Hold on right. a second. Hold on a second. Don't do anything too exciting yet. Okay. I have roll. two re rolls. Do I do four dice or five? What do you think? Four or five? Okay. Yep. Chat says four. Ch okay. <laughs> Chat says four. I see nothing, but I'll go with there. Chad says four, we're doing five dice. How many have been saved now? One, two, three, four. Five have been saved. We have saved five. We Out of the ten. Five. I know, we've lost we two. I'm trying to get the other ones. We got a four here. Okay, we got a four. There you go. All right. All right, that's well, just enough that's to do at one. least one damage. Two, yeah. three, four. It's exactly enough to do one. Five damage. I don't get anything additional with that, so I just hit, I hit the Shaman down to a three. Shaman down to a three. Liquid yeah. Gaming's got news for you there. What? Have you been passing out the to-go menus as they went on <laughs> Just taking our rations, probably run it. Ah, my rations! <laughs> we should just be. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. I was, I was talking about cannibalism, but maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, dude! Too bad I didn't get a crit on one of those. We're taking I pieces of the idea. worm and running. Exactly. Oh, the worm's a long ways away. My, my uh, priest is done. So I got two cards I can attack with, but I'm gonna use my roll first. Let me get my roll on. Roll to complete. Okay. I'm gonna play one to roll. Where ready, are you rolling? Ready? Move watch two. this. Wait. Spend your enemies. I try and keep him honest. 
He and my wife are the worst. My wife, whenever we play these games, she always forgets to pay for her cards. Always. always. And that's going to battle flow this card to here. Nice. Okay, so what form are you in? Right now I'm in Viper form. You would have been in Viper form before too, right? Because it's before you actually play the card. Move to. If in Viper form you may move through an unoccupied hex during this move. You must end in an empty hex. How so about you can two. move through an occupied hex, not an unoccupied hex. I can do that too. Okay. <laughs> I can we can all move through an unoccupied hex. Well, Even the war bear can move through an unoccupied hex. Barely. Barely. <laughs> I'm going to move one, two past this lady. To right here. Nice. And okay. then I am going to play Charge. What are you charging through? Well, in order to do it, I have to battle flow a card first. Okay. I'm going to battle flow that card. Pay your cost. And pay one. To battle flow this card back to my hand. No, I'm not going to battle flow that one. I got a better plan. We're going to battle flow maybe a cleaving slide or something. Yeah, huh? because then you're going to battle flow that card back in your hand anyways when you play that card. That's right. Right? Because you just, can, you just what, play what, it. Yeah, what's this card going to be? This is a what? A one. So maybe I can get some ones over here. Hang on, I'm going to move one of these. Takes a little while. I'm going to figure out what to do. Hello, my name is Barrett, and I have a plan. <laughs> I have a plan. Should I take Master Parry, or should I take Winoning Strike? Oh, dude, I Winoning Strike. You think so? Yes. Get around those two Berserkers, or the Berserker and the thing. And They're all going to be dead. Okay. I'm going to take back Master Parry, because I'm okay. feeling I'm about to get smashed. Oh, you're fine. I'm going to put it here. you got so much health. Two... It's ridiculous. You're six health. And you've got three shields. Okay. And then we're going to Battle Flow card. I did that. And then we're going to get this card back in our hand. Now we're going to charge. I'm going to pay the four animus it costs to do this. I don't think they saw that card because it's okay. So totally fine. Okay. <laughs> Battle I'm going to play this card. And, uh... one, two, three, that was my Houdini card. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to play this one. Oh, yeah, you can't see this, it. You can't see it. But... This one right here, we're good to go. Okay, I'm just going to pay that cost. And... <laughs> and this is what it does instantly kills an enemy. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to charge. That's Move three in a straight line. If you move adjacent to an enemy that you are facing, you must stop. You get to do the knockback. That's the okay. deal. Ready? All there right. you go. Hello, my name is Baron, and I killed You killed my family. Killed my family. <laughs> Baron, in my there we go. Oh, my gosh. I have to watch that movie again. I, that movie I love that movie. It's such a good movie. Oh. So I'm going to move three. So we're going to move three. The blade yeah. is running. One, two, three over to here. What and should I take, Colin? Proceeds to do the opposite. Yeah, that's I mean, right. that's typical. That's typical. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. I probably might be breaking something here. Please break something. Uh, maybe I'm well, wait a second. We're going to get attacked two times in a row then. Are we prepared for that? I'm maybe not ready for that. I I do not have great defense in... Oh, you know what? I'm fine. What the... should I take, Colin? And then proceeds, proceeds to, to take that. the opposite. Exactly. That's it. Actually, I'm okay. My priest is a little low on defense, but I think we'll survive. I got two twos in my hand. I got two twos in my All hand. All right, you ready for what I'm going to do? Yeah, bring it, bring it, bring I'm it. going to attack with no reroll tokens or anything. Oh, you got nothing? No. So I got four dice. Four dice. Move your mice for four <sighs> dice. Should I go three, maybe? No, you want to do four because you want to make sure you actually hit. All right. And if you miss, you'll get a token, like a reroll token. True. All right, ready? Here we go. I do think that's one of the best things of this game. Yeah. When you miss, you actually get something good. Three, four. <sighs> oh, that's a miss. I don't Can... get to knock back the person into the other person. My plan was to knock back this guy into him, both taking one damage. But you know what? That's okay. It's be okay. Uh, you want a reroll token? Yes. Or a battle flow token? No. Or an enemy token. token? Sad trombone. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. awesome. We are the best whoa, trombones whoa, ever. Whoa. Oh, it was so close. That was gonna be epic, Kevin. Uh, Kevin, I don't think epic. it was close because he he didn't even get to five on the dice. And he had two misses. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just no. threw a die at me. You guys saw that that was recorded. Nope. Uh, yep. Yes. You it can't was, edit that out. <laughs> there was a, one of the giant rats through it. Uh, what are you doing with the last two on your on your archer? Since you I haven't figured out what to do with those yet. Um, I'm gonna probably just move. Can you get yourself better in range? I could maybe. Well, no, it depends. It depends on what you de determine range is. <laughs> Four to six. If you think range is me getting whomped on by this bone maiden up here, then no. I don't want you to get whomped on by the bone man. Why would you be picked though? Just You're not one West. miss as a one. Um, what do you want to do? I don't know. You can also just not use it. I mean, that might just be the best plan. Okay. I mean, if you don't have anything else. But I got two. Might as well use it. Okay, we're gonna use it. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to find something to shoot. One, One four, two, three. three. You have I, to have range six. I can use my... Oh, I got a plan. Oh, no. Quick shot. Quick it's shot. One animus, just quick shot. It says you can attack a minion. Now, these are minions, but I'm going to use the move two at the bottom of this. And that's going to battle flow my card. 
Long shot over here. Oh, nice. For the fun. Uh-oh. No way here. Hold on. Do you mean to come down there and put him on timeout for throw? <laughs> yes. Please. <laughs> two minutes at least. All right. Battle flow of that card over there. Paid my animus. I can move Thank two you, spaces. Robin. Where should I move? You could save a civilian. Oh, actually, Matt, good point. He can't. He's too far away from them. Otherwise, I, I would tell him to Maybe I'll run hey, save that one. Right. Try and save that one. No, she's going to die because that, that, that bone main is going to target it. Mm. Well, then. Where do you think I should go? I could not save a civilian. That's it. Um, I could just move up. Just move fire. Up. Just move up. I'll move up to here. One, two, go by the tree. Don't you have tree things? Yeah, I've got by, tree things. You can jump by trees and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I can okay. jump by trees. All right, you ready? I was... I still got an animus left. Okay, what are you doing with it? I don't know. Okay, you're not doing anything with it. Nothing. We're going to do it. The Berserkers target the closest Oath Sworn. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what, what's wrong with it? Put it over here. Oh, it's on my head. That's why. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. I know. I think. I, I have the I have our head's too big today. I'll have to okay. work on that next time. Oathsworn is just going to stay right where it is. Uh, sorry. The Berserker here is going to stay right where it is. This one's going to come up and get behind the... Uh, North and west, so get right to the war bear, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, for each berserker adjacent to the target, move the berserker four directly away from the target and place the target in the closest empty hex. So north and west, this one would go first, right? And yep. it would go four away, one, two, three, and drop me over here. That's, I think, the plan, yeah. Yep. And I become a mobile or crippled, which will mean I won't be able to move. So sad he's going to do that. And that one wouldn't move, <clears throat> wouldn't move because there's no... Well, there's another Oathsworn. Is he going to do it to you? It seems fun. I think he'd do it to you. Where would I don't he know go? Where he, that way, maybe? Yeah. He's going to go north and west. One, two, three, four. So maybe coming up here and, and bringing you. Yeah. And you're now mobile. I think that sounds logical. Okay. They're trying to save the chieftain. Yeah. Yeah, they are trying to save the chieftain. That's yeah. what they're trying to do. Um, I'll buy that for a buck. Then all Scar tribe members move four to their target and attack. So these ones won't move. This chieftain's gonna move here, and it's gonna kill this civilian. Is there a civilian back there? There's a civilian back yeah, there. Yeah, you can't get to it. How? What? Oh, man. Okay. Unless you have like house jumping. <laughs> don't you? Don't you have house jumping? <laughs> no. And that one's gonna jump there. Okay. I mean, go there. I guess you almost automatically survive. One survives. I, I'm because I don't know I was how gonna... you could ever get back there. <laughs> I mean, I don't have like throw the house. Okay, so let's start with the Berserkers. From how I see it, since they're a mob, they're both going to target the War Bear. Because he's north yep. and west. Yep, yep. And they would both target the same one because they're going to target the... They're yes. going to always target one that's already being targeted. So the War Bear has Challenge, uh, which adds four additional defense. Wow. Yeah. So I'm at seven defense. That's man. ridiculous. That's why I love my bear. That's why I Where love my I bear. Where did I get this token from? Oh, I used it and I failed, so I get it back. Oh, he, oh, yeah, you did use it and failed. Can the you? trees be destroyed? That's a great question. Not at these single people. But yes. good question, Kevin. A I large character can, can destroy. destroy it. Or if you had a car that maybe would let yes. you destroy an obstacle. But the trees and the houses and the walls cannot be destroyed unless there was one of the large-based minis. There's no large-based minis in this encounter, so none of them will be destroyed. They're all just going to sit around. All right, so I've got seven defense. Bring it on. Three. Oh, so I put them in the screen. Okay. Spear Lady also attacks at the same time. Oh, because it's a mob rule. They're all mob. Thank I agree you. with you. Thank you very much, the Yep. So the you got lots of taking stuff. Taking care of business. Thank you so yep, much. He's really taking care so, of business. Three this red, bears three in big yellow. Trouble here. Oh, no, the bear's fine. I wonder if I could do anything for him. Well, too late now. Here, I'll have seven. Oh, so that's going to be one damage. Mm -hmm. I'll keep going here. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Uh, 13 damage, so I only take, well, one damage. What's your defense? Seven. So Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, but hold one. on. If I, let me see. I almost want to play this, what? but maybe not. How far away? Who is this? Oh, the bear? Yeah, the bear. Okay. After an adjacent enemy draws damage, ignore one of the might cards, but if... You would ignore the four. Um, which so would put them down six, to... Six. It would still be more than one seven, damage. Seven, eight, nine. So, it doesn't matter. Pointless. I, I'll just take one damage. I go down to five health from six. The That's blade okay. is singing a song of how much he loves singing the war bear. That's why I was here, man. Me. It's okay. oh my gosh, your character is so, so good. Three were there to attack. Now, sadly, this uh, guy, the pack leader that we almost killed, dead. Dead. I'm okay, that's that's the, our. Don't worry about the red. The other one was a two. I'm just putting in the uh, bad this discard other. Pile. Uh, what do they call him? Civilian is done. Uh, he was known as the great and powerful. Oh, he dodged the first one with the with the Jar Jar didn't get out of the way. This no, time, no, he no, ran didn't. into the door.
door, and then I tried to go in the house, ran into the door, and the guy, like, did not let him get inside. That's all I'm going to say. So, now if that he's done October, talking... October, I would have probably described a little bit different. <laughs> now that he's finally done talking, we're going to play Lay on the Hands for the Priest at plus two to his defense. His defense is five. And by the way, I don't... I'm just kidding. Uh, and be able to battle flow Weight of Glory over by one. So my defense is five. Can you flip one red and one yellow? Two. Two? Nothing. Okay. Zero. And yes, Kevin. Okay, Colin. I suppose the bear is getting better. Yep. A lot better. A lot better. Okay? A lot better. That first scenario, I had no idea what I was doing. The war bear just got mobbed by three guys and got scratched. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a tiny scratch. That was out of control. A tiny scratch. It's because it's the war bear. I can't believe how well we're doing. Okay. You were all Here worried about me this. And me and me. Well, we haven't actually seen. Yeah. These I are know. level one cards so I know. far. Okay. Our next level one card. Which we're getting we close have to We have Mutilate. Mutilate. That's going to be real good. The Berserker targets. <laughs> He's killed me every time, guys. <laughs> every <laughs> time. <laughs> Wait, should I throw a die back at him? Uh, okay. The. <laughs> <laughs> They are off the chain and coming for you. They're off They're the off chain. They're off the charts. Oh, that's awesome. The Berserker targets are on close to the center of the board. If time picked the highest health, Berserker moves six to the target. All other Scar Tribes move four to the targets. All Scar Tribe target mob. Berserkers redraw all blanks. Were we supposed to redraw blanks? No, no. Was that a redraw blank card? I don't think no, it was. No, you have the cards. Oh, I discarded them. Discard them. Oh, one. there was one of them that was supposed to do I think that. we were supposed to redraw blanks. No, not on this one. No. Probably the one we drew two blanks on. That was maybe on the... In War each crack. attack, redrop to one blank per tribesman. We forgot to do that. That's funny. So, that's how Jar Jar Binks survived. Yep, yeah, that is. <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> don't make me turn this stream around. That's right. Uh, that's right. Okay. So, do we want to just give them that on this one? If we remember that they get one redraw of a blank. Sure. Because we missed that. Sorry, guys. Here, now we're in. Yep, exactly. Um, Children, I mean, yep, when he has a plan, that's when I do. Barrett has a plan. All right, okay. let's go ahead and start the Beeman, next round. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Two. Four, six. Oh, I get all my stuff. Yeah. My archer's going to get seven back. Four, and look at this. I get six, long shot back. And I get this back. Oh, I'm going to change this character to a different character. All I do is long shot. Yeah. Well, you certainly can. That's the fun part. Yeah, it is a really cool part. Shoot, he's very confident mm -hmm. when he has one. Okay. 90% of the time they work. Warbear is right there. Too bad I did not have that card. That's okay. The blade. Look how many cards the blade gets back. Three cards. Super excited. And he gets all but one of his animus back. There you go. Three, so nine. Okay, you ready? No, no, no. My turn right. first. Ready? You go first. You go first. I'm super excited about I this. I love this. I love this. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's see if this works. Um, first, we're going to go right about... <gasps> are you going to do your blade awesome thing? No. Oh, okay. What There's do you do? No awesome Archer blade. awesome thing? Maybe. Okay. Yep. Because I've got it in my head. In my hand. <laughs> Must be that long history of his plans working out well. Oh, yes, no. Man. The card is so <laughs> far away. Let's use multi shot. This attack may target an additional enemy within four range of the first. Add two damage to this attack for each target. Once the attack once and divide the damage equally between the two targets. Should Whatever I do that? Said, I like it. Should I do this? Ricochet. This attack must target an additional enemy within range four. You can do that. Add two damage to the attack for each target. So uh, attack once and divide damage equally between all your targets. So we and we can determine how we. Um, do the do do the damage right? Because it says, oh no, it says apply it equally. Yeah. So, so if I do ten, I do, they need to take one. But so you're only doing two. Stack me down. Yep. So you're doing two two characters. Perfect. Right. All right. All right. Do it. That costs you four enemies. Must be that long history of the plans working out so well. This is true. This is true. So Ricochet is going to go into my number one slot here. And I'm going to pay for it. And I'm going to move Quick Shot down over here. And it's going to cost me four. One, two, three, four. Over there. And now let's see if I can shoot somebody. One, two, three, four. Because I can shoot the big guy, which then can ricochet to this one. Because I don't have to have a line of sight to this character. Because I'm, I have to. Have, this character has to have the line of sight to him with the ricochet. Okay. Are we ready for a potential break? I think so. You think you're ready potential. for a potential break? Yeah, because she'll be the one attacked, and then we'll make sure that she doesn't get attacked anymore. Because she is going to get ten, because she's the closest to the center. Correct. Unless I have wait, my card wait, again. no, she isn't. Those berserkers can't walk around us. They're automatically going to attack the person that is the one who did it. But they cannot. How can they target her and attack her when they cannot get through? We are blocking their path. They cannot oh. walk through us. So they would attack us. Yeah. Yeah. Because they would attack then the close source one if they can. 
This one would would it, and this one would attack your uh, your yes. archer. So two would attack. Oh, three three would attack your archer. All other scar tribe move four to their target. Yep, that's and, not bad. And so you're you're up for taking three of these characters on you. I've got a level. I ooh. I can heal you as the priest. All right, let's go for it, huh? I, I think it's time. You know, we'll see what happens. Hit, hit the two damage on the pack leader. See, now the funny thing is I really don't have a reroll on her anyway, so technically I'm only going to roll a couple of yellows and a white, and I only might do like a total of ten, which you'd have to divide equally among them. And so I'm gonna, one and one. Yeah, so I'm going to target the two die, the two. and then I'll target the shaman. And the shaman has three, three right now. Okay. What are you doing? Two yellow and... Two yellow and two white. Here we go. Ready? No. No. Now I'm ready. Now you're ready. I'm almost ready. Check out this. Okay. Oh, uh, zooming up, zooming up. Zoom up. Back in. Here we go. Oh, oh it's a miss. Okay, you gotta reroll. You gotta no, reroll. You have a reroll. I have one you reroll. Re Use it. Seems to be the way it goes here. All right, reroll. Yes. Get Three, your six, crit. Seven, Get eight, your crit. Nine, ten. I've done ten already. That's oh another crit. Another three. thirteen. Do the if crit. I need two more. Oh yeah. Oh, that doesn't count. Oh. Okay, so 3, 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Can you get two more? You got two damage with it? With I the ricochet? get two damage with ricochet. ricochet so that's three damage. damage. Correct. So we have to distribute it equally. I'm so going to do the, one to the guy and two to this guy. You want to do it that way? So the shaman's so. down to one. The pack leader is one and one. Yep. And, okay. All right, I'm good with that. Let's go I'm with good it. with that. Okay. You get my reroll token. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That reroll was Berserker worth target. It. Center, then the rest normal target. So the problem is the berserkers can't target the center. They can't get to the center because we have them. I mean, they kind they of can't walk. Us. Or they can't they, walk. You cannot move no through move. other characters. So we've kind of reroll with me. They cornered us, but we've kind of cornered them at the same time in yeah. that corner. So I don't know if we're ready to hit the break. What if we went for those berserkers over there? Yeah, for this round. Sure. And then next round we just hit a bunch of breaks. Sure. Or maybe we just do all the... Do we see how much we can do damage on the Berserker? Because, I mean, we can all, I can also kill the Shaman as the Priest. Actually, I'm likely going to kill the Shaman I think we should priest. kill the Shaman with the Priest. Do you want me to do that right now? I think you should. Okay, then I'm going to do I it. I think that's a great idea. Because then right. you'll get attacked, and you say you have a lot of defense over there. No, no, no. I have yes. a lot of defense with my War Bear. I don't have a lot of defense with my with my um, Priest. But that's okay. But that's actually not too bad, because it would. there's only two that would attack you, and the other three would attack the War Bear. Two, and I have a, a two defense. Okay. Well, now, let's see. Is there anything I want to do while you were doing that? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it anyways. We're going to have fun. So this is costing me four enemies. He's right by me, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'll have three enemies left. I can gain either a reroll or a defense. I'm going to gain a reroll. Uh, that means I have three rerolls and three defense, okay? And I can attack. That's going to go into my one slot, and that means weight of glory and righteous advance goes to zero, okay? So then that way, hopefully, I can get those back for defense. We got lots uh, going on here. Okay, what is it? Do they all swarm one O sworn if a die is broken? That sounds dangerous. It is going to sound dangerous, and kind of yes. Yeah, but the bear can take a hit. Yes. The bear. When you have multiple enemies that aren't minions, they won't target during a reaction as they normally would. Only if they have multiple dice will they be mad and target the one removing the die. Oh, but that one will be dead. No, I think wait. these are all technically one monster, wouldn't you think? Wait, what is he saying? I guess I... I, I think what he's saying is the one, the die that you break is usually the one that, because the person who breaks him is the person who broke the die of the monster it's attacking. Well, if we kill one of these guys, that's the die. This is the only guy that actually breaks. Oh, okay. But we still do the break where we, we activate the... Yes, but technically the one that targets you would be the one you shot and killed. But that one's dead. Yeah. The only difference will be the pack leader. But yes, and everything else just it does its normal. It just does part its normal card. Okay, I think I'm fine doing that. That totally makes sense because they're each an individual minion versus yes. it being the. They're uh, not one big boss. That I'm when with you, you break something, that thing goes charging at you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. I think that makes perfect sense. Thank you so much, yeah. Zizits. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Zizits. Zizits. I I'm apologize. I'm terrible at names. You are terrible at names. All right. So am I. Colon, are you ready? I'm ready. Co Colon's ready. <laughs> Colon's ready for a colonoscopy. I, oh! I, and don't forget the extra yellow cube. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. That makes less. Makes that less dangerous. Yes. It does. It does. Okay. Hold on. Let me get. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Boom. Four dice. 
Get it. I'm I'm doing this wrong. This is the priest, so I got to get a red, not two Ooh, yellow. He gets a red. A now. red and two, two whites. whites. Three, three whites. I got three rerolls, man. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, a lot. that's well. Okay, I'll spend one reroll because well, that that'll that'll destroy the shaman well, as long as I hit yes, here. You so there you much. go. Three, four, five, six, seven. The shaman is gone. In. Okay, so we killed the shaman. Yeah, okay, shaman. Which then triggers this card. Technically, but... it gets knocked back to two, but nobody's within the knockback. Correct. So. Okay, so that's done. Wow, that was. So our um, shaman's dead. Here again is a shaman. He looks absolutely. Thank amazing. you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. This guy looks whoa, awesome. Whoa, that looks great on there. Look at that. Okay. It. it it did a great job focusing on it. Let's let's do the back too. Nice. It's super good. All right, now we're not looking at the shaman anymore because it's dead. If anybody's interested, you can contact Bill. He paints miniatures yes. for a living. Uh, and it's amazing. I just paint them for a hobby. The Berserkers, I think he does it for a hobby. He does it for a hobby. You're right. Uh, he does it for a hobby. I apologize. Yeah. Yes. The Berserkers target the Yellowstone close to the center of the board, so they can't. They're going to simply stay where they are. Can you move up there? Because they're stuck, they have no way of getting to the center. Um... Uh, then the berserker moves six to the target. All other Scar Tribe members move four to their targets. So that means they can. Can they see it? Yeah, yeah. hold on a second here. He's that gonna means move. he's going to move simply here. Yeah, because he's going for that. Uh, the She's all gonna those are going to stay right there, and that's it. Okay. So then we have all Scar Tribe members target and mob. So that means the war bear, bear is, getting is getting attacked rocked again. again for three and three. <clears throat> well, you're in luck. I got three and three. Awesome. I want to keep that. I'm going to draw some, your attack. Watch this. I'm going to play some math. Okay. I think I'm just going to do a two. This is this might hurt because I don't have a four again. But that will give me a total of five defense. And that is going to push back, push my uh, primal rage, which is what I really want, and feral Three roar and six. down to uh, this. Oh, uh, actually, we just lost a character. Give me a yellow mic cube. That's why they're saying that. Give me a yellow mic cube. This is really going to hurt you guys. This maybe was a little bit whatever, but it is what it is. Because each one is going to have a, two yellows and a red. That's each time a Scar Tribe member de dies, yep. is that the deal? Yep. So oh. that's why he's saying, so we're going to have six yellow, two, okay. four, six, and three red. Wow. See, we thought we were doing good. We are. We're, we're always, still doing okay. We're, doing we're, we're, doing we're, we're, it's going to hurt a little bit. I might take two damage, but I have a way I can ignore one of the enemy's might cards. I'm giving these a good old truffle shuffle. Here. Character within range three. No, not within range three. I should get a picture of doing of uh, of of the guy doing that in movies. <laughs> the, truffle the truffle shuffle. The truffle shuffle. Okay, you guys. I'm not looking forward to this. Right, ready? Here we go. And put these back because these are all nice and shuffled. I'm really not looking forward to this. Okay, miss. Oh, no, oh, no. that's How about a three. three. Two. So we're at five. Yeah. How about five, six, seven, eight? I guarantee you one of these is a miss. There it there is. There you go. That's Nine, another, 10, 11. Oh, that's a three. 12, 13, 14. Oh my god. I haven't shot the red ones yet. I guarantee you one of these is a miss too. 18. 21 and I had five defense and here we thought we did fantastic with that roll So that definitely means I'm going to play this card <clears throat> Get rid of one of the four mm -hmm. Ignore one of the enemy's might cards of your choice. Okay, right. uh, that's gonna push my challenge down Six, to a two nine, 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 damage so uh, and I have five as, as defense 5 10 15 so that's three, three damage damage 17. And even if I use the two shields that I have, that's still three damage because that puts, well, let's see, that put me at seven. What no, six, 12, 18. Okay, if I. 17. If I. Six, tw yeah, so if I just use one shield, then my defense becomes six. Six, 12, 18. That means I only take yep, two damage. Yeah, take two damage. So I'm going to use one shield right. to only take two damage. So I go from five down to three. I'll buy that for a buck. That was awesome. I love that. I love. I love it being tight. I love taking some damage, even though I don't love taking damage. But that's okay. so cool. But look at the good news is we <clears throat> got like half the threes. Exactly. From the that's back. what I was trying to do. Okay. Just now absorbs the damage. Now, <laughs> now this guy's going to attack. Oh the, yeah, that guy's so dead. Yeah. Oh, it's a miss. And it's a two. Uh, what? Yep. Yeah, and it's a three. Dead. 
Funny dead, dead, is, dead. We said we we're going to let him redraw a re roll. Oh, I'm not forgot. going to. Well, nope, at this point, we're not going to do that. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> three yellows and a red is a totally changed deal. All Scar tribes now move three directly away from their target. So they can't move. They're stuck. Nope. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> uh, the target was there. One, two. Yep. Put them there. Yep. And that's it. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, let the games begin. That was fantastic. Love it. You did so good, man. Okay. Bear is still alive. Three health. He's still doing great. Now, we haven't finished the round where we're both immobilized, right? Or crippled. No, we have not. Uh, no. Because that was... Oh, wait. Let's flip over to the next one card. Oh, yeah. We go to stage two when two Scar Tribes die. Two Scar Tribes die. Mutilate. Again. We've seen that one. Okay. That happens when the bear gets hit. And this one does not... It... Did we just do Mutilate? Yeah. Why? Berserkers redraw all blanks. So how does that work? So we, how do we know which ones are coming from the Berserker when they mob? I guess you would cho choose the Berserkers or not. What do you mean? Shouldn't have played the Penitent. Should have played the Penitent. Played, yeah. yeah, we, we, we should have. <clears throat> he would have gotten in power tokens or something. Which oh, I so many. So we'll just go without it this time. But you that's took what the, 17 damage. That, yeah. that was but good. that's what the next Mutilate is. Yes, yeah, so we'll make sure to remember We just have to time. say this is for the, the Berserkers. This is for the Berserker. Well, look at the bright side. There's only two Berserkers attacking you anyway. Well, let's kill one. These Berserkers are berserkingly annoying. Although they're at five and three, aren't I they? I have a feeling this first part of the game is all about these Berserkers, and the rest is going to be about these other guys. So maybe that's good that we're killing them. That we killed the other guys. Yeah. That Shaman was going to be ridiculous, I guarantee you. Well, the Shaman's gone. Then. Super dead. Yeah. So do we... Uh, let's see. I have... My bear has not even activated yet. I'm super sad I took out my attack card with my, my ranger. Let's my archer. See. I took out my double stab because I thought nothing's going to stand next to me and now I've got a guy right next oh, to me. Oh, right next to you. Oh, I've got an idea. I'm going to, for one an animus, battle flow one card. So I'm going to battle flow my bite, which has the best defense. Actually, it's only a three, but go that to the two. But the big thing is that gets me my primal rage and feral roar back into my hand, which I like. Oh, were they at the zero? What? They were at zero? Yeah, they were at zero, which is why I wanted to do that. Uh, then, do I do, if I do this attack, that gets into a one. I'm just, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the Primal Rage. It costs four. Okay. One, two, three, four. So he only has two enemies left, uh, but he gets to attack twice. And I'm going to use this. Before drawing damage for your first attack of the round, add a red. So I get two oh. yellows and a red for the first attack. And this is a two, and that's going to battle flow all these cards down to a one. And then this item, which I don't know where I put it, the whip, I'm going to put it in spot three. Uh, and that means I'm going to get two yellows. You must have all the yellows. I have all the yellows. And a red. Okay. And then two whites. Five or just one white? Because I don't have any rerolls. One white. If you need a roll white. What? Do what you think is best. Well, what were you saying? I just don't know. It didn't make any sense. It was in English. I do. Well, I don't know. Do that. You just roll, 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 only roll one white. Roll okay. I'm rolling one white, two <laughs> yellows, and a red. <clears throat> I'm going for the guy with five health. Okay. Okay? The guy with five oh, health. Gotcha. Ooh, Look at that. That. Six. Or that's a four. Look better when it's a six. Oh, it's oh, turned into an okay. absolute monster. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have anything? Oh, 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 I think I have oh, one oh, more thing. Oh, oh, oh. After oh, you draw oh, oh, your attack, oh, oh. add two damage oh. to that attack. <laughs> so that will mean I get up to 11. Okay. But that does not battle flow, unfortunately. But at least that gives so me So he's going to go to a three. So he goes to a three. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So we sit here just to give people updates. Bone Maiden's at four. The one of the berserkers had three. This dude sitting in the middle of one, and the other berserker has three. That's so where we sit three. right now. And I've got three left. I think I want to do this for the bear too. Roll one unused hit point die. Do you have one? Yeah. No, right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And check the, the results. Check the result. Come on. Be Not a, a one. Be a two through five or a six or three. So I get an empower token. Nice. That's nice. And that also does not battle flow. I put all that in the three spot. I have one card in my hand. That's it. And we can't move. Okay, and you want me to you want me to break three creatures right now? 
Um, not really. <laughs> I think that the the bear has one card in his hand. That's gonna hurt. I got a lot of cards. In my Is there? Hand. A, are they gonna target me for that attack? Or are they? Yeah. Why would they always target me? And you're the most north and west. Okay. When there's a tie. Second attack for primal rage con. I I, I only have two enemies. Otherwise, I would. Attacks. And and I. Oh my gosh! I get a second attack. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh! I get a second attack. Now the second boom, attack boom, is boom. just two yellow. I want to do two yellow and two white. See, Same guy. You know what happened last Thank time? Thank you two so times. much. Why do I always forget about the second attack? Because you're super excited about your ten. Oh, oh yeah, three, four, five, six. That crits. I need another yellow. You have all the yellows, man. Why are you gonna take my yellow? Uh, I got three. Okay, that's it. Three. You four, are five. so good at rolling crit so, dice, man. It's amazing. Yeah, and that means that I, um, I just dealt one more damage. Put him down to two. Down to two. Which one? What the the guy that we hit last time. Yep. So this guy in the this far. This guy. Okay. Thank you so much. He's that was down to super two. nice. Yeah. Okay, now it's my turn. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. Well, I can't roll. Right now I'm in Viper Stance. Do anything that does Viper Stance? Nope. Um, all my cool cards involve me moving, and you... you and, and we can't move. Yeah. ba -ding! So I guess I'm just going to attack. Want me to attack? Want me to kill one of these guys? I'm I'm thinking. Give me a second, because I gotta make sure to save my bear. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, <laughs> just do it. Just do it. <laughs> no, I have no idea. I'm gonna pay my three <laughs> animus. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Um, I wonder if I want to do that one first, or else we can play. I got a better plan. We're gonna try this again. This worked last time. I'm gonna use my master parry card. That's scary. And it's gonna cost me two. And there we go. And I am going to put it here. And then a battle flow this over to here. There nice. we go. Right? That's the deal. And then I'm going to attack him. Two, eh, two, eh, two, I've got eh. two yellows. Because even though I have the sword, like I've used the, the, the dagger, that knife I'm using, I still get to use it to die. Even though I've used the card and put it up in my... Yeah, area. yeah, yeah. I've used all my weapons, yeah, and they're awesome. still... Yeah, that just tells you what your might is. I'm going to... Do you really want me to break this guy, or is this going to be bad news city for you? Oh, my gosh. You're going to break another guy? That's going to give him another yellow, man. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm, I'm ready for that with one card in the Okay, then hand. I won't use my... Hold on. If you want to do that... Tarkin. I have the... Ba I, if I can get the priest within range three, I can gain plus three shield with that big attack. Do you want to go up there first? So can you let me do that first? Yeah, let the, that would be nice. Move. I'm going to... I'm going to play this for one Animus to battle flow one card, and I'm going to battle flow my three to a two, and then when I place this here, it's going to get these two cards back into my hand. Correct. Which then allows me to play this so that I can move in a straight line, and that will get me this. Oh, and that's a one, not a two. Uh, I'll put that here, which will push this down to a one, and that will allow me to move four for two Animus. One, two, three, four. And now I'm within range three of the bear. So Which if something means, bad happens, you can help him. When, when something, because if you break something, he's going to get a, a ginormous attack. If. And he has one card in his hand. If. Oh my gosh. This, this is, is awesome. If. I love it. I love if. it. If. But this is going to be a Ready? I'm going to, I might not even hit him. I, uh, Which one are you hitting? Do you want me to empower this? Now, no, I really, don't want you so to empower you, it. This is just a just in case maneuver. This is a just in case just maneuver. Just in case maneuver. Okay. Just in case maneuver. All right. So I'm just doing two yellows and two whites, and I'm going to attack the one that has three. Thank oh, you. I can't. I can only attack the one that has two because I'm not Jason. Dang it. Next to three. That's okay. It'll be fine. Look, I'm totally fine. Two crits. Well, you actually didn't hit. No. Right now. He has oh, five defense. Well, I better do a reroll then. No, right? no, no, no. Just, oh, yeah, 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 because you got two misses. Uh, you don't have any more rerolls? No, that's probably for the best. No. I wanted you to miss anyway. So what token do you want? I'll take another reroll token. Okay, good idea. And technically, I should have rolled my crits first before the reroll, but that's okay. It doesn't. Why does it matter? It, I don't know. With that's cards, maybe it matters. Oh, I guess with so. dice, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Too soon about the penitent rush mood. I, yes, seriously. Just a little bit. Cincinnati Cats. Yeah. I agree. Okay, I am all spent over here. How about you? No, I still got three okay. with my. I I got lots of the blade left. Okay, what are you doing with the blade? The blade is going to attack. Again? Yeah. And miss again? That, no, That'd be nice. Rolls this time, no. no, 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 miss. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna use this. I'm going to pay three. One, two, three. To attack. And that's going to be all my animus next turn. Ooh, that, that'll be. And you'll have that's your That's my feedback. all animus dance. And you'll have your feedback. I already give you feedback. 
<laughs> that was good. Found it. Oh, that was awesome. Wait, okay. show them the board. Show oh, them yeah, the board. I'll show the board so you can see my t awesome roll here. Here we go. Ready? No. I did it. Okay. Three, Three four, four, five, five six. six. Now, if you want, I can choose to not use that roll. Or use the use the uh, critical. If you rolled another three, you'd still wouldn't get the ten. So I don't care if you use it. You know what I mean? See, I'm good. Whoo! <laughs> like, are you saying I should have done some math before I opened my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying I did the math right away, and I knew I was okay as long That's as you didn't pretty. So he's yet. gonna go down to one. So we got one berserker down to one. Everybody's down to one except for the bone maiden and the other berserker. Yeah, yeah. That's the deal here. So we got lots of ones, and then. Oh, I'm Really worried about that pack leader, actually. Dude, the pack leader is going to be toast. One to one. The biggest thing I'm concerned about is that we're going to have to really take some hits. Um, yep. And and I need to get the bears' cards back, and they're on the one slot. I could attack again. So, if you, want. you can attack again. Yeah. No. Okay. Then because then we've got two back to back attacks. Oh, that'd be bad. Yeah. Okay. But if I you want to do, do this, the archer, I can do this though. When you crit during an attack, you can battle flow a card. Oh, I would do that. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Which card We're going to battle flow that three. We can get these yeah. things around here. That's yeah. the main deal right here. Who else thinks the battle flow is one of the best systems ever? I love it. I think it's great. I, I think it's great. It's so, so my cool. blade has so many things sitting in upper two. Uh, yeah. But the problem so what, is all these cards that have to do with number two are all like ones that like make you move. Yeah, and you can't use those. No. Yeah, because you keep getting immobilized or right. crippled. Okay, so what are you going to do with the archer? Can the archer hit the bone main? She's got four health, so we're not worried about breaking here. Um... <clears throat> Yes. Can she jump over the tree? Or? That's what I'm going to do. So the Maiden has this awesome ability here. It says, free running. If you're adjacent to an obstacle, you may spend three animus to move up to seven to another hex that is adjacent to an obstacle. Obstacles and other characters do not block movement for, and you do not count as moving through intervening hexes. I'm going to use all my animus to do that. Okay. Ready? Yep. I'm ready. Could you see, could you use Ricochet on both Berserkers next turn? Y yes. If I had it. Where is it? At three right or here. two? I guess I could battle flow it. Instead of doing the run. Well, what are you doing with the run? What's the advantage of the uh, run? Let's not be standing next to the... No, stay next to her. Take one attack, man. You can take an okay, attack. I'm going to battle flow a card. So we're going to go back to my main here. And there's an archer. And so she's going to battle flow this card, which is my ricochet. Which is then, like you said, and I'm going to do that. And which is then, these, like you said. That was a good plan. I'm going with your plan here, Kevin. I like your plan. We're going to go with it. Kevin's got the plan. Master plan there. The master All right. plan. That's it. Now you have I two enemies left. Can you do an attack just, here adjacent? No, I can run. Well, if you run away, she's going to target the uh, the civilian instead of you. No, man. Come on. We've saved one, two, three, four, five civilians. Oh, what if I move there so... and then it attacks me? It's not going to attack you. It'll still target the civilian. That's how I understand it. Well. So, Kevin, you two kills, one shot. Uh, almost, except for one Berserker has three health, so I think that Ricochet would be hard to hit the three. Two kills, one shot. Okay. You think you, you could do it? That would be so I'm cool. I'm gonna kill the pack leader. Oh, no, that you could do. A one and a one. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wait, but you can only hit one at a time. You can't attack Oh, the... yeah, I can't yeah. do that. No, you can't I'll do that. have to kill the Berserker and the pack leader. Yeah, Berserker and a... Oh, one And turn. one part of the pack leader. Yeah, in one turn. Yeah. yeah. We'll trigger three cards in one shot. All right, are we all done? I guess so. Okay. Are, are you done? That's the question. All right, we need to remember Berserkers redraw. Okay? Yep. Uh, so those Berserkers are stuck. They're going to stay there. Oh, we remove our um, crippled. We're yep. no longer crippled. Can you give me that crippled token? Here you go. All right, let's just get this over with. You ready? Always ready. All right, boom, boom. So we've got... If the Berserker, okay, blah, blah, blah. Berserker moves six to their target. No, they're going to stay there. All other um, Scar Tribe move four to their targets. You jerk. One, two, three. That poor civilian is going to die. I'm going to go up on next to that wall. Right there. There you go. Thank you. Uh, the other one is just going to turn and face the priest, of course, because I got the priest next to him. Well, you're Which, awfully nice. Yeah. Yep. Saving the, uh, the blade. Remember this next time. I will. Okay. I only all have scar defense. tribes target mob uh, berserkers. We draw all blanks. All right, ready okay? for the berserkers. <clears throat> berserkers first. I need to. I'm going to play my one card in my hand for plus two defense, and that's going to push all of these ones to the zero spot. Okay, but I have only a defense of five. However, I'm also going to play this from the priest. 
uh, it says the uh, prayer of protection. <laughs> uh, the character gains three defense against the uh, damage, but you lose one health. So the priest is going to go down to three, which is a little scary because he's also going to get hammered, but not as hard. <clears throat> this is a two, so that will go and push these down. So now I actually have a defense of eight. Well, your bear's going to get a lot of cards back. Yes. Uh, his entire hand. He has no cards in his hand. That's going to be awesome. Ready? No. Wait, for, so Berserker's first. So Berserker's you have to redraw first. any blank. So that one doesn't count. Redraw the blank. Okay, that's okay. Okay, that was for one window. No, you know. Okay, you got to. Why do I have three red cards? Because oh, there should only be two red cards. That's right, because the okay, bone man okay. moved. Here we go. <clears throat> two red cards. We're going to redraw them. No, redraw. So what are you saying? You're going to do red and two yellow for each one and then redraw one of the blanks? Okay, so that's one attack. And then, yes. it, and then it says here, um, Berserkers redraw all blanks. So then you've got to remove the two blanks and redraw for those two blanks. Okay, so you redrew for those blanks. Perfect, right? Okay, so it's only a four right now that's hitting me. So then you got to do the next one. That's a three and then two yellows. Okay, both yellows are blanks. We draw both of them. And we got a three and a one. Okay. Lots of cards all over play. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I take one damage. There, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's Down good. to two health. Took all my blanks out there, though. Yeah, so, well, when you redraw all blanks, uh, why don't we do the... Let's do the one that's attacking the civilian. And that's just the... Yeah, whatever her name is. Oh, come on. Miss. Oh, no. Okay. Nope, real dead. Yeah, real dead. She's gone. Another one toast. Guess who's not? <laughs> you got she it. She has six health, man. She goes down like a <clears throat> bag of chips here. No. Wow. How many Prayer protection is what the priest calls it when uh, all he is doing is yelling, look out, and hoping for the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, now the priest is getting attacked for two yellow and a red, and the priest is going to play, unfortunately, not great. I don't I feel like I've got to do it. He's only at a three, and he only has three health. So he's going to play this one. It goes into his three slot, um, and that means he has defense of five. So flip one red and two yellow, please. Okay, that's a three. Two yellow. A blank. Love it. What's the other one? I don't know. You're going to do a truffle shot. Oh, my gosh. Here's, here's some more. Oh, here's, here's a some red. More. He's got cards all over the place. Shh. I'm going to throw in some of the ground, which is a half a deck now. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> the only sides we're using are the blanks. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. I, I threw all the other. Oh, there's a four. And yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to crit three. Okay. Three and a three is a six. So right now, he'd be taking... I only have defense of five, so he'd be taking one. I can use two defense, which I'm going to take no damage. Beautiful. So all right. no damage. No damage. Two shield, no damage, and then... Two shield, no damage. At the end like of the round, it. he gets to heal one, so he's back up to four. Perfect. Which is what I was looking for. Okay, so now all Scar try and move three directly away from their target. So... She moves right next to the bear. One. Now you take two. North and west. Just going to go... Oh, one. I guess, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. three. There you go, right okay. there. Right there. Perfect. The Berserkers can't move. He's going to move away. He's going to move away. Uh, one, two, three... Sure. And this or berserker, this way. This berserker is going to move what? Uh, north and west. So whatever west would be. That's this way. Yeah. Three. And you know what? This that berserker move one. can move one away. Yeah. And that's as far as he can go. That's well, the deal. Then he would bounce, but then he bounces back. So then he'd go two and then three. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. That's our last level one card. Now we're on to level two. Open wounds. All scar tribes that have lost any health move forward to the shaman. Ah, oh, shaman's not there! You were right. You said the shaman was going to do this something! This bad news! <clears throat> so then what happened? If any scar tribe moves within range 2 of the shaman, the shaman loses his health and the scar tribe within range 2. Okay, that doesn't happen. All scar tribe except the shaman move forward to target. All except the shaman attack. So they're just going to move forward and attack. So because we took the shaman out. Oh, that's fantastic. That is freaking oh fantastic. Gosh. Can you put that over there? Yep. Okay. Twitter says when I'm picking up cards off the floor, I should also check for tokens and paint bottles that I have yeah. to on the floor as well. <laughs> that is for sure. All right, let's pick up our cards. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my guy And here. generate enemies. The archer is going to get all our animus back six, and pick up one card. Two, four. Oh, my bear. Look at all these cards. Let me bear. go over there. Yeah. You want to see oh, how many cards? cards. Uh, a total of... 
One, two, three, four, five, six cards. I went from no hand I to six cards. One card, and all my cards are <laughs> stuck in that two slot. I gotta get those out of there. Yeah. My priest has two cards. All mine oh, are stuck in the one this slot. This be perfect. What are you doing? Are you doing something? Yes. Are you gonna break something? No. <laughs> are you doing ricochet? No. So you're gonna break something? What, what do you think you're doing? I'm gonna somersault over that bone maiden. Okay, that's kind of cool. cool. Bone maiden has four health. So I'm, I'm good with it. Do you it. That? Do it. Here, hold on a second. Which way is she facing? Well, she moved three away from the civilian, so she should be facing this way. One okay. way that she's facing. Okay. Um, okay. Play that card. Somersault. Place your figure in the opposite hex of a Did you not generate your enemies over there with your? Why are you worrying about me? <laughs> Because because you need me. You don't pay for cards, and I definitely need you. Okay, so here's what I'm Wait, gonna do. Who's been soaking all the attacks, and is at two and four health respectively? You should work on that. I've... Who's the archer that could have saved a civilian, but instead moved two for no good reason? So she can ricochet. Just so a civilian would die. Nope, we got ricochet. We multi shot somewhere. Oh, multi shot still stuck. I need a multi shot down somehow. I can get it down. Oh, I can maybe get it with ricochet. All I'm saying. So I can get quick shot. Okay. So ricochet move that to there. Which then I can ricochet and then I can do that. Oh, it's gonna be glorious. Okay. Oh, I don't get extra knots. I'm gonna use one to move and then I'm gonna use three to play this somersault card. We're gonna use a total of four animus. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Game board time. I'm gonna move right here next to this tree. And I'm gonna somersault over the top of this enemy so that I am in the rear and the uh, Archer's gonna tap me. Tap me on the shoulder. <laughs> and I'm gonna somersault. Now I am not in boar for this ox form. I'm in viper form. If you take a look at how many cards I have in that two slot. <laughs> but hey, you but finally can use it too. To I'm gonna attack, and if the target is in your, your leftover, if you're attacking the enemy's rear, the, the attack gets in power <gasps> three. You, it's like you're using a power token. You, you have another one. You want me to use the power token too? Well, do we want to kill her? Well, you're not gonna kill her. You'd have to get a lot. That'd be 20 points of damage to do four. Well, I can do a lot. I mean, if you do 20, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. How about two yeah. black, two yellow? So are you doing a double empower? Why not? Okay, give me that empowered. Well, keep it, because you, you might, might fail. You might, get, you might fail. Okay, so I'm going to move there. Because you have, well, you have two re-rolls, man. Correct. It's time. It's time. It's time. Hit him hard. We're going to hit this one. Um, yep, here we go. Come on. This is in the, the Bone Maiden. Bone Maiden. She's got four health for me. Okay. That's, that's a miss. That's terribleness. I'm going to use my reroll token on the Please, on black. black one right here. Flip it to um, another five crit. Oh! <laughs> all right, all right. Two more black. You need two more black. Two more black. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Ready? Come on. Five and a crit. Here you five go. Break, dude. Five and a crit. Five and a crit. Oh, oh, come on. Wow. Two blanks. I could use another reroll token. Five, ten. Is it worth that? I don't know. I mean, you don't get to roll that many black tokens or black dice. If you got a five, that's a whole other point of damage to it. Right now, you're doing two points of Maybe damage. I should. All well, these people are saying, do it. Breaks, do it. Go for it. There's beer everywhere. That's I love it. Flip it. Do it. Use okay. it. Use it. Because you don't get to roll black dice often. Yeah. You gotta get go. a five though. You gotta get a five. Actually, a four would work because you got a one on the yeah, yellow. I did. Here we go. Oh. See, that or two damage. That's still good, but you use three tokens for two damage. That kind of sucks. But. Why'd you make I didn't make you. You okay. made the choice. Bone Maiden goes to two damage. Yeah, two health. Two health. Sorry. <laughs> but again, it was fun. It was fun. That was still, do you do anything else? Do you knock her or anything? I don't know. You got my card. Oh, no. Just empower. I'm okay. Why do I have your card? Here. I don't know. You took it. I didn't take it. You I'm took going it. To... <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> that was my like, Joker laugh. <laughs> A Joker, scary laugh, whatever it was. I'm going to battle flow all those over to here, which is out of control. I'm going to put them on a pile over here. I am definitely now in boar form. Do you want me to hit her? Yep, still going. Sure. We're almost. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. It's close, only 10.30. 10 we're doing good. Uh, you want me to hit her again? I maybe could take her out with something with my priest. Maybe I should move him away so I doesn't get hit first. I'm kidding. Too bad. You're gonna. You're. What, what? Oh, if I well, if I break and kill ultimate boar form. That's right, Kevin. Ultimate boar. Form. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Bear, oh, um, hey, priest. grab a grab a defense token. Oh, or reroll. I'm going defense. No, give defense. I'm token. going defense. These guys are gonna do good. Yep, yep. Actually, because look at how much defense I have in my hand. Zeros. Mm. But this is a one, which is going to help me. I'm gonna do that pillar and path to move all of these down to here. 
Okay. So I'm hitting with one red. What do I had a? If I critical, I can actually do something. Are you adjacent? I can be. Do you want me to be? Nope. I want to do this. I'm gonna spend one animus to move, so I am adjacent to you. What if I? What if I want to move? Did you want to move? I do. Okay, then you can move. So. I'm gonna play this. It's called roll. I can pay for one animus. I've got three animus left. I can battle flow everything in my one slot. Oh, <gasps> nice! I'm gonna battle flow all this over to here. That ready is, for my that neat is trick? Awesome. One more trick. One battle flow card. And then you can move your two to uh, whatever. Two's gonna go to the one, and then all these are gonna come to my hand. Nice. Okay, and you're you're moving. Do you mind moving right here? Yep, that's right. Because I was then I can add two yellows to this attack. Do I have to be adjacent to the enemy? No. If if the, if there is an adjacent O swarm. No, help me out, man. You got six health. Well, no, I my could go. I could go four. over here and then start attacking that guy. He doesn't want to get attacked. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I'm just actually no. If I kill her, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm good with that. That's a good idea. As long as you're adjacent to me. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get over there. Hang on. So then I'm going to play this. If there's an adjacent Oswarn, gain two yellow for an attack. That will go in my three slot, not battle flowing. <clears throat> so that gives me two yellow. I've got a red. And I've got two rerolls. I'm going to use two whites. I'm going to okay. kill all of them. I need to do ten. So good. I need to do ten damage. Uh, three, uh -huh. four, five, six. I've got a reroll. It's not great. I'll reroll a yellow. Okay, three, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only gonna deal one. Do you think I? Wait, did I have a crit? I can use this. When you critical during an attack that hits, add two damage and knock back two. That won't hurt anybody. Uh, that will add the two damage that I need. So Perfect. How that, much do you do? Uh, eleven. And so she only needed 10 to do two damage, so right? So she's super dead. She's dead, dead. She gets, can you pop up there? Yep. She gets knocked back one, two, but then dies, which gives me another yellow cube. Can I have another yellow cube? You certainly can. <clears throat> Not that I really want another yellow Maiden cube. Maiden has died. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty awesome. Look. Look at that. Bill. Look okay. at this. So good. Okay. Okay. Uh, there we uh, go. Liquider said I could have battle flowed my somersault first. I would have moved it to the zero slot. True, but then I, I needed to bat. I, I, in order to get all these cards back, I needed to do it that way. I think I don't think I could have some battle flowed somersault because then the, that wouldn't have moved any of the cards. Number one, I needed to play a number one and then move them to zero, and then I had to play the zero to bring them all back into my hand. But I could have technically gotten all the cards to the zero slot, but not getting them into my hand. If that makes any sense. I followed it. <sighs> Okay, so she's done. We now have a break. We, we now this. have the stage two. So we're gonna. Oh, this is a stage two card. So we just it? do it. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, we two. do it. Yep. Okay, so all that's gonna happen is move forward to their target and then attack. Okay, and that's all that's gonna happen. Their target will either be a civilian or an O sworn. If they can get to the priest, it'd be the priest, right? So because the priest broke. No, no, no. Oh, nope. we killed a character. The yeah. Bone made so going to the priest. It's just going like this. Right? Yes, because they go for the people. They can't go to the people. They go so to the, bear. the bear's going to have six nope. yellow and two white. Am I wrong? I could have been wrong. Maybe I'm what? wrong about the battle flowing. Okay, don't worry. Who don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. It'll be good. So I'm just ready to watch Colin's bear get smashed. No, he's not going to get smashed because I've got my wonderful uh, four defense here. So that gets me to a total of seven, and that's going to allow me to battle flow all this stuff from a three to a two, which I like. So I'm at seven defense. We potentially do that. Uh, the priest has nothing that he can do to help. Nope. Okay. So I. Yeah. Can I flip mine? I got six of these yellows. And two and, reds. And two reds. And they don't get to redraw anything. It's no redrawing. Okay, this no is just a regular. When does the. Oh, when they're down to one die, does it go to. Nothing. Well, I like it. Two. Not bad. Three. Five. Seven. So I'm taking one damage. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. I'm taking one damage. Oh. <sighs> my bear is down to one health, guys. Oh, I was saying nope if that makes sense. To my if that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. I was saying nope to if that makes sense. You may be right. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, I just realized my bear is down to one health. So, so, you, want to, so you want me to do two break two more locations? No. no. What I want to do is get the priest over there to start healing him a little bit because okay. I can do that. But yeah, you the, should do that. Well, the priest can can't get over him right now. Really? No. no, he's got two enemies. He just broke the other gal. Don't you have that move thing that can, can you do him? one red and three yellow for this guy? And he's, you know, one red. 
used up a blank for us. Okay, so gone. Another civilian bites the dust. Yep, we've lost more this time than we saved. Yeah, one, two, three. No, we have five that we saved, so we oh. can't lose more than we saved. We saved half of them. I think there's 12. It, was, it said only 10 on the thing, but was there actually 12? One, two, three, four, five, six are over here. So there's 11? Oh, there's one guy hiding over there. Yeah, there's 12. I set it up right. Yep. I don't know if I believe I just randomly put guys on the board. So one, two, they all attacked. So now we get to see the next mm. card. This is the level two. Uh, we have Poison Spear. The Bone Maiden. Maiden. Ha, won't happen. Because she's done. Correct. All Scar Tribe move three. All Scar Tribe attack, target mob. The Bone Maiden, nothing. Uh, all Scar Tribe move three directly away. So because we are luckily enough taking out the right ones, we're doing okay. All right. So Bone Maiden won't have any benefits. Uh... I am a little worried about that bear, but he hasn't even activated yet. I can attack and take out one of those berserkers. What are you thinking of doing? Uh, doing two damage to the pack leader. Wait, before you do that, I can do that. I'm going to spend one for my priest, so I have one enemist left, to battle flow one card. So I'm going to battle flow my, uh, my pillar and path to the zero spot. And then I'm going to play this card into the zero spot so I get all these cards back in my hand because I didn't have any hit cards in my hand. And now I have my card. No, I don't. Where is it? It's right there. It's in the two spot. Dang. I cannot help the, the bear with defense. Bill's making me excited for, for the end of the game. The upcoming encounter boxes are just wow. You guys are going to be floored. Box 5 was my favorite, but the encounters I'm doing now are off the charts. Oh. Isn't this going to be so much fun? Yes, I'm just oh excited. God, God, God. Okay, This is amazing. Just fighting humans. I know. Just fighting these basic humans. It's awesome. Oh. All right, what are you doing over there? Just don't kill one. Sitting on seven animus. Can you hit the three guy? Well, or I can have the bear run away. Do you want to have me have the bear run away? He has one health. If you want to run away and I can run up and maybe take out one of the Berserkers and take the hit. That's, that's the thing, is that... Want me to do that? I could do one attack to get the three down to a one and then run away and then you can hit them. What do you think? Sure. <clears throat> or I can just move out of the way. Yeah, you can do that. Which one do you want? Do the... Hit them for a little bit. Because... Um, I, could, I could throw them. Why don't I... Trust me. Hit and run. Hit and run. Hit and run. Well, I'm just saying, should I not even... Nope, got a plan. I'm saying, should I not even attack? Should I let you attack and take him out? If you want, yeah, sure. Yeah, because maybe I can come and help finish him off. So sure. why don't I just use two enemies for I'm the I'm going to stand right where you are, though, after I'm yeah. done. Which is great, because that means you can get targeted in my I'm Wait, I only have two enemies left. Yeah, oh, so you did the enemies. somersault. You attacked the... Oh, well, I, got, I can't attack with him then. Okay, then I'm putting the bear back, and I'm yep. spending the two, and I'm just putting no, it... No, that didn't okay. work out too well. So what do you think of doing the archer? Oh, the archer. Attack and move. Yeah, go attack and move. Can we rename your group to Thanos, since both of you managed to kill off the half and total half of the total civilians? <laughs> <laughs> Done. Oh, that's pretty um, funny. All right. Oh, wait, no, it's not this. No, nope, snap. No, there we go. What am I doing? Like, oh, all right, you just, I got that ricochet card, which is good. But that will, that will um, Kill break one. one of them. So yes. I don't want you to do that while the bear's next to it. So, so why don't you attack? I'll attack for... Oh, man, I wanted to toss, but if I toss, I'm going to break one of them. And I don't feel like I should do that. Just so, do normal attack, I'm and just... then I'll run up with the blade to take the hit. Um, I've got three defense tokens. But I'm just going to use... There are two. My totally. two is the one that I want to play to get the cards battle flowed, but I don't want the throw. I don't want the throw. I do this attack for three. That does absolutely nothing for me. So I think I'm Maybe going so to sad. just use this one. Knock back three. It's using four enemies. Wow. Oh, and then the new two. Thanos power gesture. Yes, he did. Yes, I did. You're dead. That's, that's just <laughs> Thanos. Four. That's a one. That's going to push this one down to a one. Sometimes I wonder why I hang around him. Too bad. <laughs> I'm going to keep the empower token, I think. Two yellow and two white. Because I don't, I don't, do I don't want to kill it. No, so. no, you don't want to kill it. Two yellow, two white. Sure. Uh, three, six. No, no, because it's got three health. Right? Three, six, and I get a double crit. 
Okay, so three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two damage, down to a one. All the people on the board have one health. That is Just awesome. Well, the pack know. leader has two, but yeah, 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 one yeah, health yeah, yeah. and one health. Yeah. All right, then that means the bear is going to run. They're using two enemies to run one, two, and that will get them out of the way, right? So then someone else can target. Perfect right. roll. You're right. That was a perfect yeah, roll, that Kevin. that was a perfect roll. Exactly. Now, this is when we play our traitor mechanic, right? You're not going to kill my bear. Good. Why? What are you doing? Well, what I could do is I could I could charge down here and knock this guy into this thing. Yeah. And then it would do one damage and knock him in there and do another damage. And we'd go through three cards. No, you can't You can't do that because it's the same to die. I don't um, think you get to do a different die. That makes sense. You okay. you have to do one die with an attack. It would be more attack. fun if I could do that. Why you got to run my fun? Yeah, I'm just saying. Why do you hate fun? <clears throat> but what's your archer doing? No, I'm not, my archer's going to shoot something, but he's going to move two first. Okay. So he can get up there and hopefully take the hit. Because he has six health. Well, yeah. And I'm going to use this mead. I'm going to gain back an animus. Use one more to move here. Oh, nice. Okay. So Keep them in that sure corner. sure they're going to attack me. Well, they can get around it if they really wanted to. Yeah, that's true. That's the deal. Now the archer is going to ricochet. Ooh, on both of them? Can you take both of them out? I would probably die. But what? Did only one of... Well, actually, both of them might be able to get to you. Well, actually, about so, killing one. Yeah, so only one. Only one will attack, And actually, right? it's not going to target... Remember, it's not going to target you because that character that would attack you is dead. Dead. So then it's just going to hit your blade. Yeah. <clears throat> Attack may target additional enemy within range four of the first target. Add two damage. So you're hitting two damage in both of them. Divide the damage evenly. Uh, I'll do two yellow and two red. Or two blue. Or two white. I got multiple color. I don't even have blue dice. I'm wanting them. I want blue dice. Ready? No. Be lucky if this does anything. You're trying to do. You need ten to be able to take them both out. I know. You can't empower? No. What am I going to empower with? Nothing. I don't, I don't Ready? Think. Here we go. We need 10 damage here. Hmm. Anything's possible when you got dice. Three, four, five. I killed one. You killed one. <clears throat> Let's make it the one holding the sword towards your priest. Okay, done. This one's done. Correct. So that means... I'm going to put him over there. Wait, mm -hmm. let's show him. Let's show him. Yep, show him up. This guy is dead. Super He's dead. so dead. With all the skulls all over him. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. He does, he's, a, he's a good he job of skin. Of yes, he does. I don't do very good with skin. All right, so that means this immediately happens, and we have not... When four... Uh, one, two, three. We've only had three die. So this says we can ignore the Bone Maiden. She's dead. They move three towards their target. So... Uh, can you go to the... Where is he going to go? Oh, yeah, let's find out. Can he, get, can he go... Would he go towards the... Priest? No, the um, civilian that's back there? Because he can't hit the priest either. One, two, three. He's not close enough. So would he also, would he, he goes to the closest one, right? Uh, Even though that civilian is way back there? I, I don't know the answer, but maybe that's why a civilian's back there. One, two, three. Seriously, he's going to go all the way over there? Why not? Do you guys know, uh, let us know what you think. I think that it would, it says the target would be the civilian if it's not adjacent to an elsewhere. So there you go. So, okay. All right. And the other one is just there. Uh, mob. The bowman is range five. Um, okay, so after they attack, then they move three away from their target. So you get no yellow cube, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So you're going to get attacked for four <laughs> yellows and one red. Dude, you can't even complain. You're getting attacked for four yellows and one red. And That's I got enough. my card up and saving. Yeah. Master. <clears throat> so why didn't you play that when, you know... I saved it for a rainy day. Yeah, okay. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Gain... Oh, that's too bad. Use instead of playing a defense card. Yeah. So your defense is only two, so if you fail at whatever this is... And you gain three defense. Oh, okay. Give me a break here. So you're a five. Yeah, and I'm not in the right stance, though. If I was an ox, I could have guessed the amount of damage drawn and not Well, then you anything. might as well use the bottom for a six. Oh, no, it's only because you're a three and a two. Same thing. Same thing. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use three card. Yeah, we're going to use this one. This is just going to give me three defense. Boom. Okay, three defense. Goes into three. I get to put my mead around the horn there. Maybe I'm not in ox horn. It would have been funnier to say that. <laughs> and we get for how many? Uh, four yellow and one red. Two. Okay, that's not bad. No. I like that. Three. Five. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, so three, four, five, six. Seventy-nine. Seven. So your defense was five? Yeah. You take one damage. Oh, boom. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. We were smart. 
Okay. SMRT. Uh, and then he would move three away from you. Oh, moving move three away from you. Well, one, two. I guess he'd go back in this corner again. Yep. And that guy would stay there because he didn't actually get to his target. Uh, our when next do they one. Go to the next thing. What do you mean? When do they go to the next uh, stage? When the next character dies. We need to have four characters dead. Oh. Okay. And remember, if you just hit this guy and take this one out, it does not move to the yeah, next stage. Yeah, he does not die. So, open wounds, we can ignore the shaman. I cannot believe we took these out in the right order. We, we totally did That was all job. you, man. That was all you. You, well, you said, take the, the, the shaman out. Take shaman you out. Know? And I was like, maybe we should take the berserkers out. They're killing us in the first stage. And you're like, no, leave the berserkers because it's going to be the other characters. The berserkers right. about to die. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm thinking... Five. Oh, actually, I'm mostly I'm mostly done over here. I think I'm just gonna let you do things. Okay, ready? Wait, did I did I just hit him with ricochet? Yeah, I should probably pay for that. Sorry, guys, I forgot to remind him to pay for his cards. Yeah, apparently it's my job. I can thread the needle. Oh, how far away am I? One, two. Three, four, five. Well, that's one too many. So you need, do you not have enough enemies to move? Correct. Uh, I can't give you enemies. No, you I don't, can't. I don't have anything. I can battle flow card. I'll battle flow card. Wait, 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 wait! Don't even do that. Take that back, because what I could do with the bear is let you move too. Can you do that right now? Cost three. Spend no, because I have to spend one enemies to battle flow. The card. I was thinking I could play my zero That's my card. Problem. Yeah. Okay, no big deal. Oh, it's battle flow card. It's not the end of the world. Okay. We'll battle flow card. We'll battle flow. I think we're doing just fine. Here. RPG strategy. Kill the healer first. Yep. Yep. Where's the Nash's shirt, but can't count his animus correctly. <laughs> Dan's on top of here. Classic RPG strategy. He goes, I'm yeah. not clicking on Dan's thing. No, I I'm gonna. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna battle flow that card. There you go. Oh, should I battle flow ricochet around? Yeah. Why not? Well, are you gonna ever be able to target two of them? They're so far away from each other right, right now. We're just gonna do the children of the yeah. corn. Yeah. Right. Not <laughs> children of the corn, but it's children of of the forest. The forest, yeah. Children of the corn. Yes. <laughs> yes. Barrent in the corn. Could uh, I went from happy forest to horror film in the corn? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You ready? I think I'm done. I'm. I'm. I mean, I the bear could use one more animus because he'll. Let me see. One, two, three, four. No, no, he'll he'll save it because he'll get all of his enemies back. Open wounds. All that have lost move forward towards the shaman. There's no shaman. If any, okay, move within range two. No, all scar scar tribe except the shaman move forward to their target. And then we've got the um, mob. So this one's just gonna move up next to you. That one's gonna go there. He's gonna go slaughter. I think. That uh, guy. Uh, so can you do you first? You first is one, two, three, four yellows and one red. What are you gonna do for defense? I'm going to play my three defense. Okay, good. Battle flow. Yep, I'm still in boar form. Or I'm still in boar form, not ox form. All right. I do three, four, you said? Four, man. Four. I got to shuffle these up again. Wow. Houston, We're we going through these yellows so fast. We have an animus problem. Houston, we have an animus problem. This is not an animal problem. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, boy, here we go. All right, one more. There you go. Throw them on the floor. Or throw them on the board there. I got okay, only a two. two. Why did I get the two? I got all the fours. Nothing. Beautiful. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Three. So that's a five. Use one oh, shield to take damage. no damage. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. use a shield. There you yeah, go. So use one shield to take no damage. Okay. He's got one shield token. That's program a satellite to zoom in and use some spectrum analysis to count the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'd be sad because they'd find that I did an error. Now draw that same thing for that one civilian. Well, the civilian's going to be dead. I know, but we still need to draw the cards, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What does he need? Four? Uh, four yellows and one red. Super dead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Squashed him like a bug. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> Super dead. He's so mad that he only had one health left. Oh, so, my gosh. Uh, you know, know, two health left, I guess. All right, so we lost, what, seven and saved five? Yeah, I, I'm not bad. happy about that. Right, we could have saved more if you, you hadn't should have ran around the house. <clears throat> I blame you. The outside. I blame you. I saved four out of five of those people. I'm just saying. You should have stood next to that. I could have gone next to him and he wouldn't have ran around. Could have, could have, could have, could have, should have, would have. All right, sure. we're at stage two. Uh, death from above. Remove all Scar tribe members from the game board. Target the highest health Osworn. All Osworn may move three. Place the Scar tribe in empty hexes as close to the target as possible. Place in an order you wish, and you always place them next to an Osworn. 
All Scar Tribe target mob. All Scar Tribe move three. They literally disappear, jump on one guy, and just hammer him with. That's amazing. So many y'all. At least it's the one with the most health. You know who that is? The archer. That's good. I got a plan. Okay. Oh, I'm not next to a building. Well, you, this is for next round. Oh, good. I can get next right? to a building. That and was, I can't be targeted. That was not for. Um... Where's my? End of the, I gotta get my children of the forest around fast. No, get your get your race. She has six health. It's okay. All right, we're starting the next round. Generate your enemies. Okay. Does anybody else think that Baron's a whip? Come on, <laughs> take some damage. Oh, my goodness. She's at six health. It's okay. And his other characters at five. I got a plan. Got Two, a plan. four, six. I'm gonna get this card back. Before he does anything, I'm going to somehow attack and kill nope, one of those characters. On so no, 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 holding on. It's gonna move three no. and attack. <laughs> <laughs> those cards with his Here, you read that, okay? Whatever those cards would be a civilian. Yeah, the civilian got crushed so hard, his great grandchildren would take damage from the attack decades from now. I'm not Why near is a, this hurting? I'm not near a, a, an old sworn, so I'm going to be able to battle flow a card. And then. What are you doing over there? I'm battle flowing a card for one animus. Like and this. Only my and then I'm gonna battle flow this into my hand. Right, my my bear is going to and move one, two, three. Move two. It's gonna move three here, and it's going to attack. <laughs> I'm gonna move. It's going to attack right here. No, nope, I'm attacking two. first. Nope, she didn't move. <laughs> she didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. You you can't. You didn't show it to them. There so it didn't right happen. There. Nope, she's right there. She's <laughs> in the middle. I just battle flow the no. card all the way around no. the part. So I don't she have can't be attacked. All right, one, two, three. I'm kidding. I'm out of there. She wants to be not hit all this entire battle. The blade is ready for this. Actually, well, he's not. So. I, I shouldn't actually do that. That would be a terrible maneuver because he's not ready for a hit. Well, he's being hit by um, one, two... There well, okay. Go. Are we going to hit the, the guy over here? If we hit him, we wouldn't... We'd break a die. Yeah. You just kill this guy. Then we can get this guy back over here so we can wreck yeah. him. Yeah. So what... But you only have six health, parent. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I am the blade. Why don't you have the like, blade attack him? You're next to him. Want me to do that? I'm not right, right next to him. Do that. But before you do that, I'm going to spend one for my bear... No, no, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to stay right where I am. Perfect. Yep. Stay right where I am. Oh, look at this. We should be able to take him out here. Play Winnowing Strike. Targets all adjacent hexes. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Okay, um, four enemies. Spend your four enemies before you forget. Four. I'm going to do these four. No fun. I'm going to also put this in slot two, but it says if you're in Viper form, I get to gain a redraw on the attack and attack once and apply to all targets. So here's the deal. Since I am the blade, I'm in Viper form. Nailed it. I get to battle flow these cards because you choose the form before you battle flow, before you put the card down. So that means I get a free redraw. Okay, or reroll. Love it. Rolling. What are you rolling? You two only yellow, need five two damage. Two yellow, two white. Two yellow, one white. Uh, two white, man. You sure, don't have yeah. any rerolls. You got a free reroll. You just said you got a free oh, reroll. Oh, you got a free reroll. Yeah. How about that, huh? Let's roll them right down here. I didn't even need it. Look Three, at that. four, boom, five, boom, six. Boom. Done, 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 done. Okay, All right. Dead. Look at this guy. He's super dead. This too. guy is now toast. Gosh, look at that detail. Look at his legs, even. He's got the veins in the legs. Yeah. You see that? That's super good. I can't do right. stuff like that. Um, no, we will discard this card. We're in stage three. Oh, yes. Yeah. That does oh, not we don't have happen. to worry about the disappearing guy. I didn't have yeah. to go next to the tree. Yeah. We're oh, gonna, yeah. Well, we're going to find out. I didn't do all the moving. I took it oh. all back. Oh, you took it all back. Yeah. Okay. Before Here it I is. Fury. Oh. Move forward to their target. Uh... Chain, range two. Target this attack can target a maximum of four enemies and will only target Osworn and allies. Move three directly away from their last target. Okay, move four to their target. So he well, just moves four. He can't get he, to anybody. He can't get to anybody. He's, he's behind, he's behind the house. And there's he's no way to get through this spot here. But can he go around the tree? Look if he can go around the no, tree. No, he can't. There's no way. Oh, does the tree go to the edge? Yeah. Oh. So he has okay. to come back around. Oh my gosh. He's going to be slow. Oof, yeah. Yeah. So that's all he's going to do? I guess. Okay. It sounds like it. All right. So our next level three. Fury. No. Target the old one with the least health. That would be the bear. Move Ooh. six and then attack it. Take take you down with me. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's awesome. pretty awesome. Uh, well, we're just going to make sure the bear doesn't get over yep, there. Just there we are. So why don't we just have the priest hit him once? What do you think? One, two, three. So I'm going to play... Righteous advance. It's going to cost me two enemies to move four. Can do that. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to spend one enemies to move here. I've got one, two, three. I've got four enemies left, which is perfect for me to use pillar and path. I'm going to use that. 
I'm going to gain another defense token because I'm probably going to get hammered here. It's another one. So I'll baffle this one down. And that's all four of my enemies. And I'm going to attack with one red and two. One. As long as the red hits, two whites. One red and two whites, right? All I got to do is hit them. And, I, and it doesn't matter which side I'm hit. Three, four. Got to use my reroll. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh! Wow. Oh, they don't tell me red. the whole game to do that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I use four dice. Yeah. One well, time you do three, we barely miss. It's wow. because the red is a three when you're Which doing the you other. Oh, matter. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so that means he's going to do this moving six, but he can't move six to hit that target. So I think instead, he's actually, gonna take, yeah. he's going to target him. Mm -hmm. uh, and then move three directly away from it, which is actually kind of annoying because that's, that's going to get him farther terrible. away. Uh, he, by the way, should get another yellow because we had. Colin, another... could you do so much more on your turns if you would stop insisting on paying for your <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, I just don't pay. I just keep doing stuff. Okay, so if I I'm... just make him think that I haven't done anything and I've like sneakily done an attack somewhere uh -huh, in there. Uh huh. I yeah, cheater, that. cheater, lemon eater. Okay, lemon eater. So, lemon eater. so lemon I'm gonna eater. play. <laughs> you, you're, you're ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna play this for my defense. My defense is five. That's gonna push these down to a two. So my defense is five. We got one, two, three, four, five yellows and one red. Hey, you ready? Yeah, I have five defense. One. Beautiful. Two, three, four, three, five. Four. So I'm taking one damage. Six, seven, and one red. <gasps> one damage. Wow. Down to three. Didn't even hurt me. He'll heal that at the end of the turn. Uh, then it moves three directly away from the target. That's annoying. That's really annoying. One, two, two. He's running away. I mean, can you blame me? It's one health. Yeah. One, two, three. One, three. There we go. Uh, we've got cornered animal. Move six toward target. Target. Uh, it's not gonna matter. We're gonna kill him. Jason, draw once and apply. Well, oh, we can't how are you gonna get there? Can your archer get there? Maybe. Now that you didn't do all that silly, ridiculous stuff. Yeah. How's she gonna get over there though? Can she jump from tree to tree? Yeah. Can't she do from tree to tree? She can jump from tree to tree, but I don't think I'll have the. Wait, can I, I can let her move too? Can you? That'd be fantastic. Okay. Yes, I can. So I'm going to play for my bear. I'm going to play uh, Battle Flow 1 card. This costs uh, zero, or sorry, one Enemus. Spending one, I'm going to Battle Flow my oh boy, hold one. On. Wait, you can't get there? No, no, I'm just, you're doing a whole bunch of stuff over there and your camera's on. Oh, sorry. I Battle Flowed this one okay. to here, and then I played this here so I can get this back into my hand. Okay. Awesome. Then what I'm going to play is Feral Roar. Why did I do a one? I should have, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do that one. That costs three, and that is going to allow me to have two friendly characters move two spaces. All right, let me read this. Um, you may spend three animus to move up to seven to another hex that is adjacent to an obstacle. Obstacles and other characters do not block this movement. So I'm going to move two with your little bit dealy there, right? Yeah, and it's an obstacle, so it can be any obstacle. So it can be any obstacle. So then I'm going to use my three... Uh, do you want to have the blade move at all, or it doesn't matter? It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. The time he gets there, this guy's either going to kill my archer or be dead. <laughs> I'm not sure which. Then I'm going to move seven. And you can go right through the obstacles, right? Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, but I have to land a J. Oh, wait, I can have, oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven over to this side of the obstacle, right? Yep. Hold on. Why don't you just pause for a second? We got board game officer. Hello from Poland. Poland. Thanks so much for watching. That's awesome. I love to see you guys live. You guys are awesome. Love your playthroughs. Thanks okay. so much. We have fun. We have fun. So cool, Our yeah. plays are fun. I usually leave me hanging. Thank you. Um, I know but, some Polish. I lived there for two years. Oh, that's awesome. Now take them out. Do Zinia. Something like that. I agree. Or what is that said? goodbye? I, it's been so long since I've been <laughs> to Poland. I don't know if I said goodbye or hello. Don't ask. Jinky. Take them out. Take them right. out. Let's kill him. Uh, What's your range? Can you hit him? Yes. Okay. It's four. Okay. I've got four left. You have no tokens. Do nope. not miss. Well, that's the plan. Do you have anything to get you tokens or anything like that? No. If if you didn't have to use my move two, I could have given you an empower token. I needed the But you needed the move two. two. Okay. I'm going to just use my four damn four. Here we go. Okay, so that costs you, what, four? Yep. So that's all you're going to spend it. Are you rolling, what, four? 
Three? I don't have a reroll. Four? It's up to you, man. If you miss... If I miss, I die. You don't die. You're just going to get, get attacked. That's a miss. Kurda. That's a 100% miss. What do you want? A reroll token? Yes. I want to redo that all I want to do. Oh, you don't have anything back? No. Oh, I'm actually not sure I'm deployed here on the Middle East. I'm American. Don't speak Polish. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to bring up my Polish night. That is to worry hilarious. About it. You are awesome. Thank you, you so awesome. much for joining. I'm glad you're over there. That doing Dude, good. how did you best. miss? You I missed. Know. I missed. Wait, why don't you have your blade move too? You can't get around somewhere? <laughs> He said, "Don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be." Okay. Um, it's like Yogi Bear over there and Boo Boo running around. That's it. I mean, what are we gonna do? I, mean, I guess we can We're move closer. Have... One, two, three. Because if we do, I mean, hopefully she can take him out. But four, five. Got one, two. two, three, four, five. That's his five movement. One, two. There. There. Okay. Move that guy completely too. All right. Are you ready for this? No. Move gonna... six to their target. Wait a minute. Maybe I got my. Oh no! I left my thing up there. You Good. Have to bring it. It's gonna target you. You can deal with one attack, man. Get over it. One. Attack. This attack targets all adjacent enemies. Draw one to apply. Okay, move six to the closest obstacle and turns to the rear is facing the obstacle. Oh, so he gets corner hit. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So he wants to be next to an obstacle? And after he attacks. I see. So. Uh, I'm going to use two. And I'm, I also, before we decided to do that, since it was still our turn, I used this. The battle flow, my you can't touch me card. But I didn't get around in time. It's still in my one slot. Ha! Huh. You can be touched. I can be, be touched. attacked. Be attacked. All right. As you get that, I, I'm excited to actually flip some of these cards for you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four. There's exactly five yellows left and one red. Well, I got two defense. Four Wait. defense total. Four defense? Let's see. A three. Nothing. Four. Nothing. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 divided by 4. That's only 2 damage. 2? Yeah. You're down to 4 health. You're fine. What's 5 divided by? Uh, 11. Still 2. 6 would get you to... You want me to do that? Sure. Is going to use 2 of them to make it 6? Yeah. Okay, 2 shields. So it only takes 1 damage. Woo! Oh, yeah! Here you go. Can you want to take your card? Oh, my Daily Winks. Okay. Uh, next level 3 card. Move six, target. Oh, same. Oh, thing. So we oh. have to do the thing. And he just has to move next to him, move next to that obstacle, and put his butt back to it, like that. Yep. All right, we're ready. Sorry, for I don't the... have a side camera for that. We're ready for the next round. Generate your animus. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Can you do it? Can Let you me take just shoot him this up? guy, please? Just okay. Put him out of his misery. I'm gonna thread the needle, which is just basically it's what I'm just using it as an attack. Okay. Um, How much does it cost you? Pay your for your animus. No. Nope. Pay your animus. Two, three. If I miss, I've still got another shot. Okay. Yeah. You do have a reroll time. <laughs> Good night, all. It's been fun. In the shadows. Lurking in the shadows. Thanks it's been for fun lurking in the shadows. Broccoli Docklin, thanks for watching. Thanks Appreciate for it. Amazing. Uh, fun scenario. Wait, why am I here? I don't know why you're here. There you go. There you go. Okay. We're going to go down here and roll some dice. Could be it. Here's the final blow. Oh, oh another here. miss. That's okay. Remember that reroll token I got come from on, the last attack? Just need a one or something. Sunk it up last time. Come on. Come on. Off that wall. <laughs> Give me another this archer token. cannot hit. Oh my gosh. Well, do you have another attack? To get free animus. There you go. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I'm this... going to do that again. I got this card now. <laughs> Pay four. Do you have four left? Yes, I've got exactly okay. four. And you have two rerolls. Please I'm miss. Please three. keep missing. Okay, this is here amazing. We go. Come on. This is Come out on. Of control. Oh, he yeah. hit. Three, four, five. He's dead. Oh, he actually took him out. <laughs> uh, all right, where's the storybook? Where's the storybook? Storybook's right here. Okay, and then let's do our um, items, and then we can call it a night. Yes. All right. Uh, this is chapter four, right? Four items. We're going to get those out. Two, chapter three, four. All right. Uh, chapter four. Epilogue. Epilogue. Start reading epilogue one on this page. Yes. Splitting the story and encounter was a good plan. Very, yes. very good plan. Yeah. Very I, true. I mean, we, we needed to do very it. I think true. we're going to have to do that. For nice one. Life. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Here we go. It only took him three tries to take that guy. Let's not worry about it. Oh, it's <laughs> point blank range. You're trying to figure out a guy <laughs> point blank range. Not easy. Three I'm not tries. Robin Hood. The bear's sitting over there sleeping as as the archer can't hit the broad side of the barn. Okay. I'm the Scar sure Tribe. The worst cards for you. <laughs> Give myself The Scar Tribe lies broken at your feet. That's right. There's something different about killing men rather than beasts, mm -hmm. even ones such as these. 
You gather together and tally the dead. Nearly a dozen refugees lost, or six, or seven. But many more were saved today. Five. Among them is a woman. Her beauty shows, even beneath the dirt and gr grim grime of travel. Go grime. Long blonde hair fans out on the floor around her, where you find her fainted next to the body of a Scar tribesman. Upon reviving her, you discover her name is Lady Ellen, uh, Elena, ward of Lord Montfort, who is killed helping her flee Bastogne. Taking each of your hands in turn, she fixes you with her eyes and thanks you for saving her life. In return, she wishes to help you in any way she can. You may gain Lady Elena as an ally, or you can send her back into the crowd. If you want her as an ally, gain ally card 13. Why, why, not? why would you not want her? I, I Explain don't know. to me. I mean, maybe she's going to slow us down. Maybe she's going to eat more of our food. Maybe, she's probably going to eat more of our food. Well, I know we're going to get, like, town events and stuff. Then if we yeah. get to, Which isn't a bad thing. Well, I don't see why not. What number? Uh, 13. 13. Lady Elena, join our tribe. Yeah. Um, what number? 13. 13. 13. Can you guys put in the chat? 13. 13. Maybe you'll remember. Last name is Mr. Is completely Mr. Completely missed her completely. That, see Mr. Completely. That, that was awesome. awesome. That was All awesome. All these years watching, meet me at the table. You the see? first time I've seen Colin's face. Oh, oh there you really? go. Steve. Hey, Steve. Thanks yeah. for joining. That's Thanks amazing. for joining. Appreciate you joining. Yes, this is Colin. Surprise, surprise. Hello, hello. He lives really close. 15 minutes. Saved by a blondie. Yes, no, you saved a blondie. Oh, I saved a blondie. How about that? No, she only wants chocolate. No one wants chocolate. <laughs> there you go. I want chocolate. Yeah. No, she only wants chocolate. Well, I'm so yeah, my wife. Like I threw it away. Yeah. I don't see it as the archer only hitting one out of three, but that the archer is batting three. That, whoa, if she, a 333, especially this year, is great. I agree. Love it. What number um, is she? 13? Thanks, Bruce. Bruise Rides Games, 13. Oh, Thir well, that was a fantastic oh, yeah. one. Remember, you haven't, you haven't adjusted you haven't this one, one yet. yet. All right, here we go. All right, so there's our new uh, ally. Um, give me one second here. <laughs> we pull her down. Boom. Okay. Oh, she's not even. Okay, that's right. Non she is a non. Well, non like you had a. You thought that was gonna be it. <laughs> All right, you put that in a little stash. Yeah, Tally okay. level loot and losses. Okay. So, uh, let's get our weapons out because we're gonna have to lose one of them. Well, first so, we get the stuff. Yep, yeah, I know, but I just want to get all my stuff in order. So my bear has this. So this. we didn't get any. We only get two unique items. We didn't check off the unique item box, yeah. I don't believe. Did no, we? we did not. There's nothing in there about that? What do you mean? There's no... Just tally loot and losses? Yeah, tally okay. loot and losses. She, ah, she is a noble. This is true, Kevin. She is a noble. She is a noble. noble. Okay. Five, six, seven. These are the seven that I used. I've got my items over here. This is what I used for my priest. And this is what I used. I'm gonna move these. You now ready? For my archer. We're gonna I'm get ready. two of these here. Oh wait, we should get the. We always save the. Yeah, come on, yeah. come on, come on. Do the yeah. common first. Common first. <sighs> I'm excited. Did I even use my armor? I don't really think I did. I use my armor for both of them actually. <laughs> yeah, especially the war bear. Four items, ready? Ready. Or should I draw them from like the middle parts no, of the deck? I don't care. Just draw them. Okay, one. Sweet. After There's something attack. we're selling. No, yeah, we can't even use it. Yeah, Two. can't use that one, right? Yep. We don't have anybody with that. Okay, you could use the broadsword. It doesn't even do anything. Yeah, gain one, gain one for that damage. After damage is drawn against you. Oh, the priest could use it too. That's so weird. That you know? I, oh, it's a one-handed broadsword. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was the same thing as. <gasps> Axe. Oh, the bear like can that. use that one. It's when you critical during an attack that hits, draw two additional cards rather than one. That's pretty good. Whoa. Okay, so we okay. got two cards we can use, and two cards that can go into our cell pile. Yep. No sadness. Oh, that happens. All right, ready? I mean, you know, they don't They're always use weapons head. that are useful. <laughs> They're on my head. All right, ready? What's... How about that one? Um, the shaman. Oh my gosh, these that's are like so cool! The actual yeah, dudes. These are probably has... all ones from oh, each one of the that's guys. That's awesome. Okay, you know who needs that is the priest. If an adjacent host one has two health or less, lose one so that all adjacent friendly characters gain one. That yeah. is cool. Maybe yeah, that's for him. Yeah. And then we have the chain hook. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can use that. We can have the um, war bear can use that. And the and the no, the priest no. is a hammer. No, no hammer. Nope, that's the wild dude. Okay, what does unarmed mean? Can you tell me? Uh, what that that means? means you're you're attacking with without your might. Your might, but you get a red. Correct. Range three. This attack must target an enemy straight line from you with no obstacles in between. Afterward, push the target two axes towards you. Push the so it's like you. you're you change. Should say pull, but oh, that's so that's cool. your new weapon. That's definitely my new weapon. Okay, and this goes to you. Yeah, but I have to lose something? Yep, and we really didn't get anything we didn't that's going to help that's us. We didn't get anything that's helpful. Exactly. We're going to have to maybe go to the... You might well, as well take this, like, 
axe yeah, too take, if you want. Well, okay, I'll take the axe. Right, and then I'll break this one for break this. Yeah, wait, show it to them. Show them which one I'm breaking. We're gonna break the the spiked club, which actually yep. I like. That's that's that helped yeah. me, but it is what it is. And then for the priest, what I'm I'm, I'm gonna break the armor and hope we have more. Do we have more armor in our backpack? Uh, yeah, we've got some like level two armor. I know, but this level three is. I'm oh, gonna break the gnarled bow. I think I've got to break the armor because I need a weapon. Is this a level two or level three? Look at mine's a level three, man. I know, and I'm gonna right. break my knife. Or I can break the mug of mead. I can break the knife because I can replace it with the broadsword. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Wait, let me just see what we have. Baron suffers all the all the hooks to the face, and Colin gets the hook as a weapon. Doesn't seem fair. I know. I agree. True. In the best scorpion voice. Get over here! That's right. <laughs> Get over <laughs> here! Okay, the, did I put the... I thought I when, put the, like, R sheet out here somewhere. I don't know where you put it. I don't know either. Do you need it right now? What do you want to do? No, I just, oh, see what's in our backpack. Oh. So here's what we have in our backpack. We have... Uh, sh a shiv. The numbers there tell me what deck they're from. Oh, that's One buckler, idea. two stitched. So we do have a stitch hide ga garment. I mean, at least and that's a rat fur tun tunic. For the we have two hunting knives, which I'm going to break one. We have an iron, there's another shield. I have a reflex bow and a pole cleaver. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Um, so we do have another weapon in there if we need to. So, Wait, so we can always change. So these are I'm the gonna two I'm going to the yeah, And I'm going to lose the armor here and then the weapon you already took. Okay. Yep. So we did our. And I'm going to lose And then my... can you tally our level? Our level is now. Oh, five, right? Or oh, we can move up to five. I okay. think we're level five, right? Yep. <clears throat> the refugees gather around you, reaching out hands of things. I'm break that. They know what would have happened had you not arrived. With signs of respect, they will follow the authority of your oath marks and place themselves in your charge. The responsibility is a grave one. Yeah, we saw what happened last time. Uh, but you are shown another compelling reason to bear it. A pile of rations large enough to get you to Verum. That's where we're trying to go, is to Verum. Gain any one location token for every two civilians left alive during the Scar Tribe fight. These represent your new refugees. Okay, wow. so gain any one location token for every two okay. civilians. Doesn't so matter what ten. the location is. So we get ten. Two, four, ten. six, eight, ten. We get ten. For every two? For every one of you, two for every one. Gain any one location. No, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. Gain any one location for every two civilians left alive. Round it up or down? It doesn't say. That's sad. I'm guessing it's rounded down. So we get two of them. That, that's it. Two? We brought two people? Right. Gain any one location token for every two civilians left alive during the Scar Tri fight. These represent your refugees. Place all your refugee tokens, time tokens, and location tokens in the free company bank. So we literally... You do not need to record your rations. Okay. So we literally have two civilians with us. That's it. Yeah. Better than zero. You assemble the now sizable company of refugees and order them onward. This village was once Narenford, and that means the wire road is likely nearby. Turn to epilogue two. Not far from the Naren Ford, the group is again engulfed in the darkness of the deep wood. You fear the wire road may not have been run along the Verum Road after all. Then you hear a thrum, old and metallic. It's a familiar sound. Thrum. Oh, does that mean you're the low to... plucking of the wire road. Thrum. You track it through the trees. Thrum. Samil stands plucking the wire road. Thrum. You blink, and he's gone. Who? Samil. Remember, he's the guy that was our fifth party member. The die. Oh. Late. You look back. None of the survivors have seen this. You're not sure if you've seen it yourself. Is this the echo of the satyr's touch, or is it a ghost hounding your steps? You don't know, but you are sure that you have found. You, you are sure that you have found the way out. Leading the company to it, you reach out to the wire and feel a warm spark. As you touch it, the metal. As you touch the metal, you feel hope. End nice. of chapter four. Okay. Boom. Boom. <sighs> it says here, Baron suffers the hooks in the face, and then Colin gets the hook weapon. That's right. Get over here. I know we already did that one. Yeah, that's good. You got a noble as an ally, too. So I think you did well. I think so. I mean, maybe. Yeah. We what's saved a, two people. What's a noble going to do to help us? I mean, maybe <clears throat> maybe the noble will help us get stuff. We didn't get any money. I thought we, we have. How much money do we have? Do you remember? Oh, I have that written okay, down. Okay. That's okay. We all have I like just, five, and then the, I think like an extra eight somewhere. So biggest, I do have it all written down. The biggest thing is we Thank might you. need to get some armor. Thank you. We yes. might need to get some armor. Um, I got a new broadsword. Nice catch. That was impressive. <clears throat> that was a blast. That so, is. So I haven't talked to Baron, but I'm really hoping that we can maybe do the story next week. I think it's a good idea. Okay, I'm hoping that we can because I want to keep going. I, yep. want, I, the, I think that's great. If we do one of these a week, 
just story, then encounter, and then if we just do a story and like start Vicarios next week, and then the following week we just do the battle. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that'd be good. Working. I'm not sure if I can do two a week all the time, so right. we'll have to figure that out. We'll but figure it out. Regardless, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best. Yeah, I had a blast. I hope you guys had fun. This is amazing. We definitely missed a couple things. Oh, on and I'm th some that's misses, the, that's but... the thing about it is as long as we're having fun, that's the, really the point of playing games is having fun. You might miss a few things here and there, but. I 95% had fun, except for the fact that Bear didn't take any damage till the end of the game. <laughs> I killed a civilian, didn't take any damage. Yeah. Oh, and I would have got an extra guy. Because yeah. we're right on the cusp. Yep, yep. We would have had three, you know. Three, yeah, but no. Um, but yeah, no, this is a blast. Thank this you. Is, this is fantastic. The War Bear seems awesome. Uh, second time playing the War Bear, definitely enjoy Wise it, priest so. has wise words. Yeah. Maybe the whole noble will help us in Vera. I think she probably oh. will. I'm guessing that might be part of the Let, deal here. Fingers crossed. Very fun to watch. But Thank her, you, Bruce Rise. Her husband games. died in, in Bastogne, so who knows? But but maybe maybe you they know, know she that might she's have a, Yeah. Uh say like or dabbling or, or something. Yeah. She knowledge or something, so hopefully she'll help us. Or we could just Steve says we could ransom the noble. Or we could ransom the noble. I mean, you know, why not at this point? You know, we don't save Anything any goes. civilians. Anything we don't goes. save any civilians, so we might as well ransom them. <laughs> That's the deal. Thank you so much so, for watching. This yes, was a thank blast. you, thank you so much for watching. You know what? We're disconnected anyway, so that's fantastic. Oh, it says successful. That's that's, that's that's oh, did we really successful? Oh, yeah. Okay, so anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> that was an awesome ending. Super good there. Uh, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and bell symbols. You'll be able to see all these all live shows coming up. Also, all the stuff we do, uh, I do off off live video on demand. I'll go with it. Yep. I like it. And I, Monday nights, we always sit around and do some paintings, some chatting and painting, so feel free to join those. Um, maybe someday I'll get him on there. I'm actually going to be doing a painting with pals with uh, uh, Kanji Studios coming nice. up, I think, this week. I didn't know he painted. He does, and he just got Osworn. He wants to paint Osworn with me. So I think we're going to paint Osworn characters together. It'll be really fun. Awesome. You get, so. Okay. And uh, what was the other thing that I was going to tell you? A lot of people are telling us. Good night. Okay. Just thank night. you so much. Good night. I don't remember. So. so that sounds good. Yep. Oh, True Von Legends. I might paint that one depending on when I'm playing if I have fun. All so right. We'll see. Sounds like a plan. So, yes, look for that on your channel. And when you're doing oh, yeah, yeah. right? Yep, that's All right. right. Sounds yep. awesome. So, that's it. Thank you again so much for watching. And if you're excited to see anything else in all these wonderful games we do, then I need you to meet, meet me, me at, at the, the table. table. All right. That was awesome. Thank you so much, everybody.